Let's go live. Well, here we go. Everything's ruined. We've lost all of our... See, is it going to show that? I'll tell you here in a second. Ricky's going to be pissed if it shows that. And she probably said some very rude things. I feel like it doesn't load the preview in, but I don't fucking know how YouTube works. This feels like our first time. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank God. We're good. That preview's fucking worthless. Yeah. Wait, what does it say? You said something about Ricky. Cool, we're good. Ricky said All right, we got out rid of all things. of it. We're good. We're good to move on. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We're killing naps. Oh, my gosh. Damn. So, I'm going to... We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to do the other thingers. The other thingers. We're going to do one of these. Oh, no. Why is this still on the table? Because I want to, I want that for something. Oh, all okay. right. Welcome to another live stream, in which we say things. Where's my, where's my chat at? It's in 1080. Okay. Oh shit. But where's the chat at? Um, there. Why is it Need top some chat? volume. It's not. I got everything fucking on point, dude. Wow, I've never seen that number that high in OBS. Oh, you should have saw. I had her. A ripping yeah, earlier today. You should bring this to my house. I was doing a little testing earlier today. <laughs> See how she runs. I in. had her ripping at but some. I bet speech. you I can stream 4K. I think I can stream 4K now, but I don't know how consistent no, it's. No, no, you be. will not. Well, according to YouTube's bitrate, I hit her today. Because you what's can, it? Uh it's like seven thousand up. Okay. Like seven thousand kilobytes a second, or yep. kilo, whatever kilobits. So. I hit her. I was like, you know, let's see where she fails. So I went to 7,000, left it for 20 minutes. It stayed. And I thought, let's now push it. 4,000 seems like a good 10 place. 10 is probably, probably a good 4, place. 4,000 seems great. So, color correct for Sean? Can't. Impossible. He's well, actually, we could. I mean, we could we adjust the can't. temperature in the camera. Literally Literally can't. can. You have it at, like, 3,800. Yeah, if we could, I would. But we can't. No, we so here we are. Can. What's going on, everybody? Whoever. Oh, listen. wow. That is rude. Okay. Alec needs a shot. Alex and I am supposed to be here tonight. Get out of here. Go on your vacation. Hang yeah. out with the old fiance. The Do pup, your thing. Hopefully. All right. I want to see you rink bourbon in 4K, Metal Man said. I bet you meant drink. And now I called you out. And if you delete it, it doesn't matter. So here we are. Matt Porter, number one bot. Dan might be able to stream. It's definitely Barn Door. 3K. He was that in, looks like a Barn Door. He thing. was in chat. Which chat? Uh, the Bardstown oh, okay. bourbon one. All right. And it, someone was like, who are all these Russian bots or math? <laughs> and then he changed it to that. That's funny. So um, we're doing a thinger um, today. We're going to open. Listen, there's two new ping store picks. This. Oh, uh, this is the Ezra one, right? Yep. That's the Rebel. Y'all. Don Thompson kicking it off. Good evening, guys. Right on time. Congrats to Matt. Yeah. Huge round of applause to sit. Sir, ADHD whiskey. I know. I need him to with be the in here. Perfect goddamn score. I need him to be here. Somebody spam. Everybody spam chat I'm, when Matt gets in here. If he comes here tonight, I feel really bad for. Every, I I even said that in the chat. I said, "Hey, everyone did great. Unfortunately, you had to go against Matt." Who said that? I did. You said everyone did great. Yeah, it was nice. Hey, people, there were some kind of negative comments, and I was like, hey. hey, hey. In I, the chat? I said, we can build Matt up. You can't tear people down. There That's were negative cool. comments in the chat? About the, the people, people that were, yeah. Listen, brand ambassadry yeah. is not for everyone. That's a fair <laughs> statement. Jason, get you. I don't know. Matt. 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 ADHD whiskey. Whiskey. In the chat. You fucked it up tonight. What's going on, Whiskey. everybody? Okay. No, I just pulled a U. So, now you know what I fucking live with every time. We're here. The audio stream's current bitrate, zero, is lower than the recommended bitrate. You know what? I think I can actually change that. Now, if the mouse continues to do that, I'm not going to change it. But I can go to here. I'd have to stop streaming to fix it. If the audio shit, we'll just pause it. We'll change it. I'll sound it. Awful? I'll bring it back up. Let if the audio is not shit, we're going to leave it, and we'll fix it next week. Those are our options. You we'll know in like a minute when you guys catch up. <laughs> All right. So um, the first thing I want to do in honor of Matthew Sir Porter is I would like to pour a celebratory whiskey. 
Can it not be what you're fucking holding on to? You don't, you don't know. We've never had this. This could be fantastic. Now. Sh- Sheridan Richmond just got power back just in time to stream. Love that Florida weather. Cheers, boys. Well, I mean, at least you're not in like, isn't Texas about to get hit with a, a, another hurricane? Everyone is. God damn. Mike Frank and Matt for the win. Hell yeah, dude. Matt's the fucking man. So audio's not shit sounds fine. I'm not okay. going to change it then. It's been so, our minute. Grab, where's our dusty turkey at? No, I threw that away. I see it. It's oh. winking at me with its boo hole. So, so we're there. drinking our fancy bottle for Matt winning? Yes. The fucking family has succeeded. Somebody in the fam. We've only got this much. Why does this get lower every time I fucking come here? You say that dumb shit so much. I don't especially touch this bottle. Oh, oh! I forgot the cork is definitely <laughs> fucked right now. I wish everyone heard the noise that made. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> the cork That's is a in, new cork. Yeah, the cork is in there because I just had the top right now. That was just a... Okay, scratch up. the dusty turkey. What else we got? That was a sign. Uh, you're missing some uh, chats there. Super chats? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Andy Bressy, GoFundMe starter for Sean Severance pay. Oh, nope. Can't bounce that. I won Thank the... You for super chat. Mike oh, Franklin, I'm so glad. Matt for the win. Thank you for super chat. Sheridan Richmond, that was the one Sean read, and I'm caught up. Thank uh, you. Okay. What do we have for celebratory whiskey? I need you to get it together. I Okay, fuck you. Okay, I got it. I got one. A, go fuck yourself. I got one. Better one. Better idea. I I was going to go with the Old Forest for barrel pick that we just got. What batch you're going to go with? I mean, okay. King Kentucky's okay, but. Uh, <laughs> Grant Hartwig, making up for my absence last week. Love your lips, Dan. Oh, we could do that. We could definitely do that. I mean, it's ours. We can do yeah. it. Do it. I mean, what are you doing with your life? Don't get something else now. I ah, do the first one. The first one's more of a weird flex, but okay. Um. Grant Hartwig, I love your lip stand. And Sean, you're looking white AF, he says. Thank you, Grant Hartwig. It's weird he spelt white wrong. Spelt it T-A-N, which is interesting. Don't. Thrasher. You know what you got to do? When bottles you can't replace, you bottle flip them. Especially when you haven't shot any you haven't content shot the with video. them. I've shot a picture with it. I got two pictures <laughs> of it for Instagram. Matt, 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 Matt. Fucking yeah, dude. He said the pace button's broken. All right. Might need uh I need to fucking Holy fix that. shit, Jeremy Sires himself is in here. What's up, bitches? I do he's in he's in here on his after hours channel, like as in as in like uh I'm not flexing. Like I got two channels got, bigger yeah, than you guys. Yeah, he's got such a large fucking following, he's gonna come here on his, his small his, account. So nobody knows he's here. Don't know if you guys are meant for 1080, 10 age, ten years. Cheers to Matt. Fuck you. All our videos are in four K. That was a lot, huh? Okay, I'm going to give you some of mine. Drew Blesdell. One dollar. Bledsoe. That's his brother. Yeah. Uh, Mike Franklin. Oh, shit, he's in here. I'm both. Oh, no what's wonder, up, bitches? No wonder there's people in here. Drew Matt's is in the here Mac with Daddy P. That's pretty close. I'll take that big one. Okay. That's, they're pretty close. They're really close, actually. Yeah. I got, like, me. a bunch last time. Um, I've been in Drayland. All hail tasting some Matt Porter. In Ric Flair fashion. That was a stroke. I'm counting, that. I'm counting the sa- that you said Hastings Psalm. Oh, hail. Nate Russell. Dan, I hope you grabbed the box of samples today that I sent before Ricky gets them. I did. <coughs> They're back on this table with your name underneath them because I reorganized our samples in, bur- in our whiskey or setup today. Because we're, we're, we're reorganizing things. We need more shelves. So. Yeah. So Sir Sears is in here with the check mark flexing on. But we can't. Literally everyone. Get any black iron pipe to make more shelves, I think. I got you got sources? Of, plenty of pipes. None that actually gets laid, so. <laughs> oh, tell you about my night right before you got here. Anyway, so, uh, as Ricky's was, in chat. What was his name? <laughs> um, some people call him Richard. Um, oh. Okay, so, we haven't ran the thinger yet. I want to run the thinger. So, What's Matt, the thinger? pour something nice. I made something for Matt today, just for fun. <laughs> now, did it take way too long? Of course it did. This would happen to be the 2020 Old Forest Birthday Bourbon. Hey, can we talk Someone about something Someone even commented and was like, hunting's not real. That was Silv, wasn't it? I think so. Silv was wrong. Yeah. Silv knows he was wrong. We just go D-Silv, out. Silv, you were fucking wrong. You, so just, anyways, you just know when people get deliveries. Um, You go to all the stores. Isn't it interesting they tell you that really too much. this neck tag is so similar to the store pick neck tag? I Look at it. Yeah, it's like that gold, yeah. It's like the same, dude. They're getting lazy. 
Isn't that weird? Who's the person that made the 1915 label in our uh, group? You need to get out. You need to get out. They're coming for you, man. Oh, Jackie's coming. Oh, oh, oh Jackie's they're coming for you. coming, dude. So, Ricky said you're disgusting. That, you know, one dude in Ann Arbor. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mudbone, which is a hell of a name, said, hey, hey. Jeremy Sears, thanks again for the lighter and cutter, guys. They are both awesome. Cheers, buddy. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I hope that they work for you. I hope that you can use them. So, we're going to run this thing around four minutes long. Sean's not going to be able to hear the audio unless he watches it on his phone. Because I don't know how to get it to play through the laptop. Get, get, get your beats. Connect to your beats. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. I can't get it to come out of the computer. Gotcha. That's the issue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying I can hook up my beat to oh, your beats to okay. this, so then I'm not. Steve Dameron. There's one. There's on one some. What? what? I'm, I, there's on one some. I'm not reading that back. And his name. There's only one some. His name is Matt Porter, aka HD Whiskey Dan. You've been replaced. All right. First off. I don't know if you saw my showing against the greatest taster in the Mid Atlantic. Oh my God, his head—it's so. Funny. But he got one point against of the show. So, anyways, Ricky said that she's compiling music lists and waiting for her Patreon tier. She's like, "Open up a tier so I can tell everybody what you say out loud in this household." Oh God, like, no, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. a thousand dollars a month. I can't do it. We can't. The whole channel will only got to make a couple months. I think it'll go to. What I like to call hell. All right. Okay, Nate Russell, five dollar penance for misspelling Ricky's name. Cheers, Mrs. Sam. Dude, Nate knows where it's at too. I like you know Nate. Shh. Just I like Nate a lot. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Neil Solomon, enjoy an AB American Sun Grown nineteen fifteen pre show. You know Jackie is a fan. Jackie probably is too much of a fan. Can't stand us. So, was that noise? Did you hear? Oh, thank God it was you. There's apparently just a sample bottle down here. I'm like, here. this place We're is, drowning in whiskey. This place is haunted. Okay. What, what did you misplay? Are you ready? Okay, I'll drink that. I know. I will. So what actually happened was, I put that on your side of the table thinking, Sean could just take this home and enjoy this. Yeah. And as I slid it, fell off the table, I went, Sean will get that. That's what I thought in my head. Okay. Let's, Run it. Are you guys ready? Did we miss a $20 super chat? Not that I'm aware of. What? Who sent that? Oh. Power Keeper bought my first cigars uh, in years. Grant. And you, you good? Yeah. Caught up? Okay. Bought my first cigars in years last weekend. AB based on your recommendations. Oh. Love a magic toast. Also saw a 2017 Rare Breed today. Worth the pickup. Yeah, it went out. I don't know if 17 was better than now. What's their max secondi- secondary for OFBB? 250? 300, probably. Split it, call it 275. Steve Rowland. It depends on the. Unfortunately, the, all the year. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, oh. the years are different, so it changes, but the 19 was amazing. <laughs> Hopefully, the 20 is great. Steve Rowland. Cheers, my guys. What, oh, that was. Grant Hardwick can keep his money. That's what he said, which is weird that you said Cheers, that. Cheers, sir. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play You're going to run this thing so I can fucking hear it? I, you know, people are in here. The people are waiting. Matt, cheers to Matt. Everybody grab a good pour. If you please say in chat if you can hear the fucking audio, like 10 seconds in, because I can't. I'll, I'll know. You will five minutes later. Okay. No, I'm literally. Okay, they'll know at the same time I will. That's true. I don't know if you know this. Fair. We're in the same live chat. Dude, it's a double fucking celebration Woo! night. We passed father fucking time, dude. Second, second channel. We passed his main channel. Not even with a zero. The one. The, the one that has the word dark in it. The main one. Anyways. <laughs> all right. I made a video for Matt. Let's play the video. I think. No, you don't have to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the regional semifinals for World's Top Whiskey Taster. The winner tonight will move on to our finals hosted right here at our distillery. We are going to challenge them to see if their palates can determine proof, age, whiskey type, and finishing barrel. We have 10 contestants tonight. Alessa Geboff, Alexander Wang, Brad Holling, Charles Wilkerson, Forrest Price, Henry Chen, Tanya Thompson, Evan Lingenfelder, Timothy Battle, Matthew Porter. Challenge number one is called high or low. $20,000 is 
sounds great. But... Julie Lake said, Matt, be the whiskey star you always are. So the first correct answer would have been low. So it looks like four people got both points. So challenge number two is going to be called the young or old as well. It looks like a ton of people are just spamming the comments with Matt's name. Let's bring up the scoreboard after challenge number two and see if we've got some more people on the board now. And we have three people tied for first place. We've got Brad, Matt, and Tanya. So challenge number three is called Witch Whiskey. This has proved to be a pretty difficult challenge uh, as we've seen. Okay, it looks like we've still got three people tied for first place, Brad, Matt, and Tanya. So Matt Porter, uh, you're getting one, you're getting tons of comments on YouTube right here. What did you do? I handed out $20,000 worth of IOUs. So challenge number four is called Witch Finish. It's either going to be Goodwood Walnut Ale Finish, the Copper and Kings Sherry Finish, or the Copper and Kings Orange Carousel Finish. The correct answer is the Goodwood Walnut Ale. Okay, well, we've got two now clearly in the lead. That is Brad and Matt. Each contestant will have three minutes to present a flight of whiskeys that they have personally curated to our guest judges. We would give them five points on their presentation skills. Also five points for their thoughtfulness. Uh, we're going to take it over to Matt. The name of my flight is Trickery to Transparency. America Bourbon Whiskey. It's red, it's white, it's blue. It screams liberty, it screams freedom, it screams America. It screams buy me. You're gonna get uh, fresh shot corn and grass-stained new Reebok shoes. Moving up the transparency ladder, Early Times Bottled and Bob. It's fantastic. A wonderful, wonderful bourbon whiskey. And the stamp Bottled and Bob is proof that what's in this bottle is aged at least four years and is bottled at 100 proof. And my third and final pour of the evening for this flight is Sam Houston 14 year. Just like the Bardstown Bourbon Company, the folks who make this Sam Houston 14 year know a thing or two about transparency. The only thing it doesn't tell you is how well this pairs with a Monte Cristo sandwich, to be honest. And I'm, I'm actually hearing uh, here in, in some behind the scenes comments that the judges would like an additional minute to deliberate. Let's show them the final scores and crown our regional winner for the Mid-Atlantic. And it's Matt Porter. Matt, thank you so much. Look at that celebration on screen. I think you gave some tough competition. I think everybody uh, here is, is uh, you know, probably not happy to lose. How do you feel about being the, the regional finalist for the Mid-Atlantic? I just, if my heart could do the talking, it would say between 160 to 180 BPM. It's cruising. <laughs> I nailed it so hard. All right, we're back. I'm I'm still not caught up. Hey, we yet. got a super chat real quick. I'm gonna read Stanley Wagner Jr. Bought a campfire you guy there in the car for a couple days in the heat when I came from the mountains. No corks pop. No noticeable loss. Wondering it's still okay to drink. Of course, man. absolutely, definitely are. Also, old Carter Five Rye for one ninety nine. Yes, yes. Okay. we just paid that. So. Yep, fantastic whiskey. Old Carter 5, Rye. And thank you so much for the Super Chat, sir. Thank you very much, buddy. Okay, so. He also typed another zero. I'm <laughs> hoping. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping. Everybody watch that. I hope it's over. I think I ended at the right time. I'm basically pulling a full-blown uh, Dr. Disrespect stream at this point. I'm about to start setting up different sets. We're going to move around. It's all no, digitalized. No, we're not. Okay, I'm just going to set these. That's going to come screaming down yeah. and hit you in the as face later. As soon as I later go, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm just going to scroll Ooh. to the bottom. Yes. Dude, thank you. Matt, I cried editing that. Don't even care, dude. It wasn't even onions out here or anything. I just fucking cried like a man. Okay. Loose Cat, ADHD Whiskey, hashtag nail it. The hammer was on fire yesterday. Congrats, my friend. Bourbon Junkies fam was represented well. Oh, hells yeah. I was so fucking happy. That the fam was 
absolutely on point destroying their chat. Yeah. Number one. Number two, blew out their numbers. Number 100%. three, destroyed. I, did you see the stream tonight? And I have nothing. I don't. It's not that I don't want them to succeed. Fifty people. When I checked, it was twenty. Okay. And uh, Matt's over there, fucking ham. Just he's got the biggest, smallest hammer in the world, smallest nail in the world, and he just hits the head every time. Every somebody explain to me how all of them got Dewars. I need to know this. I asked Sean <laughs> this. Not, neither of us know. How did everybody pick Dewars? Dewars. You call it whatever the fuck you want. I White mean, label shitty scotch. Yeah. <laughs> the Jim Beam of scotch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are more. There are more things. <clears throat> Jeremy Sears, congrats to Matt, but I couldn't ignore the lady hosting. Okay. Jeremy fucking Sears. I mean, Father Time. You mm. are 72, sir. Okay. Yeah, that, he's a... He's a nasty old man. That's what Listen, they do. It was so funny because I was editing that and Ricky came out here and she's like, she's super pretty. I said, she's very pretty. Yeah. She's their national brand ambassador. Duh. Also, she murked the guy that she yeah. did in the pros versus, I'm going to call it pros yeah. versus Joe's trademark. Um, <laughs> she murked that guy in that, yeah, which made it three. even all that much better. Nailed it. I loved it. Anyways, Whiskey Ride the Bourbon Guy. That was all time. Congrats, Matt. Great video, Dan. Cheers, fellas. Thanks, buddy. Zachary Hess. Hey, guys, back from the honeymoon. I'm glad you oh, made yeah. it back Dude, from Jamaica. Me, I'm glad you got back in this country. Yeah. Thanks for chatting back on the picks. I do have a few other slide picks I'll post eventually. Hope you guys are good. Dude, feet picks are always welcome in the Facebook group. Always. Always. Dudes only. Feet picks. Alex, if you're I've, having a bubble bath, you know, rip that in there, Dude, too. It's been there a couple times. one of my favorite pictures <laughs> I've ever seen in that group was the guy. Uh, gosh, I wish I could remember his name. He's in a bubble bath. Everybody uh-huh. got so upset. And I'm like, you guys got to check your fucking manliness if this is triggering you. Alex Webb, great video, guys. I'm just here to defend Sean. You can just see yourself out. No worries. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. ADHD whiskey. They had used Dewar's previously. Also, Dewar's. it was like homework. Yeah. So if you watch the previous ones, which realize it would be an extremely good idea to watch the previous ones if you're going to do it. All right. I don't. I don't know what that means. Liberty not license. He said you, something about creepy uncle. Yeah. There you go. Creepy Uncle Joe or something coming out of the basement? <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? See, Edward wants a handy, dude. And you know what, buddy? I'm not old. I'm old, not blind, Jeremy says. Yeah. That's fair, dude. Okay. So, Matt. He's lived a life. He's just going to fucking rip out the shit and not care. Of course. Yeah. Um, the picture at the end of that video, by the way, was Brandon Spragu himself made that. Um, and he posted <gasps> it in. He posted it in. Uh, the BJ mod group, the Facebook mod chat today, as I was wrapping that video up and I'm like, dude, I got to throw that in at the end. It's an awesome picture. Brandon knocked that out of the park. So Eli cook wrangling six shepherd shepherd lab puppy and watching live. It's not going well. Cheers guys. That's why I went. Oh, puppies. Seven. I almost got a new puppy. Seven. Dude, Steve Samansky wants a Raul. You watch Dr. Disrespect ever? No. Oh, it is loud and pitchy. It. I'm not going to do it. We'll have to drink some more to get there. Yeah. He does a solid, I kind of want to do it. He does a nice Raul. It's a scream. It's a battle cry. Let's put it that way. He's a big man. It's a battle cry. <laughs> he's Six a very, seven. very skinny, tall man. Six foot seven. Dude, he's so tall. 240 pounds, whatever the fuck he says. He's, yeah. What, Jacked. 40 some yeah. inch vertical. Uh, John Dandola. So glad to see the bourbon junkie supporting ADHU. Is he of fucking course? Oh, yeah. Of course. They slid down already. That didn't, that didn't work as well as I expected. I don't really have anywhere to put them. Let me do this. Basically, That's an engineer. Yeah. Some would say. Steve Rothelin found a bottle of OS store pick. Legion of Zoom number dose. Never heard of it. Any thoughts? Me either. But I'd buy it for the name. Yeah. Legion of Zoom. They have a cool Zoom? sticker. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, there you go. Jonathan Hester, cheers from Michigan City, Indiana, for work from Chicago. Found ECTB, Toasted Barrel, for 45 today. Just cracked it. It's great. Smells like that up, dog. Cheers. <laughs> What's up, dog? Uh, Dude, I love EC Toasted Barrel for real. Yeah. I'm I'm so deep in EC Toasted Barrel that if I ever see one for 50, I'm immediately <laughs> pulling the trigger. Steve Damron, 26 minutes in and I'm already effed up. No bueno. <laughs> He didn't even type no bueno right. That's the He's best part. He's got that uh, that feet typing skills going on that uh, <laughs> uh, usually only Chris can have, throw yeah. out. Yeah. Justin Johnson said it's hard to take Dan seriously when he can't pronounce Dewar's correctly. First off, Justin Johnson, 
don't take me seriously. Second off, Dewar's is meant to be pronounced in several different ways. That, no. Uh, the backstory of Dewar's is actually that in which you would pronounce it three different languages. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't do it. <laughs> can't do okay, it. Okay, let's get into some of these real quick. Let's do this one first. This is from Matt Pillsbury, the boy of Doe himself. So nah, That's probably not true. Um, he's, uh, he's in the Pillsbury family. He owns 14% of the public shares, he said. Um, he did send some canisters of biscuits. Nope. So, no, that's true. I'm going to pour a little yes. of this. Jason Ross, Sam Houston, 14-year for 120-plus shipping. Yeah. Pull the trigger. I would. Hmm. So, I know nothing about this bottle of whiskey. I didn't do any research. But... Dude, I bet I don't drop my ring once tonight. You don't wear it. Dude, you didn't wear it. I forgot it. Thank what God. I have to wash the dishes. <laughs> I just went to look for it. I'm like, where the fuck? I'm happy you forgot it because now you won't have to get out of your chair 14 times to pick it up. Yeah, but I it's, saved that it's little my, bug's life, It's dude. my fidget spinner, though. No. Okay. This virgin bourbon charcoal filter, Kentucky 101 proof, seven years old, straight bourbon whiskey. I mean... Justin McGinnis, crack that. Mayor Penn Green, bottle chugging celebration. Well, maybe next. Okay. Nope, you missed one. Yeah, Judo Cricket. <laughs> That's a good name. Coming here to murder us for all the crickets we've killed. Uh, wow. uh, bought EC Toasted Barrel solely on your video. Really hope it's worth it. Crack it and find out. I thought this was Virginia. It's virgin bourbon. What the fuck? Yeah. I thought there was an A in it. Nope. Um, there you go. Tommy D wants you to say something, damn it. Coyote! Every time. Nailed it. Jeremy Sears, compared to me, Dan is a fucking linguist. Kirk Wilson. That's I've been true. a member of the group That's since fair. May. First night watching the channel. What have I been waiting on? Thanks for being here. I don't man. know, man. Thanks what for being you? here. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here. What have Listen, are you ready for... Yeah. Matthew Pillsbury sent us his bottle. I'm review. with you. To Morning. review. Oh. To drink. Yeah. I believe this is one that a Schmed Schminnick may have enjoyed. But I think that this used to be like McKenna whiskey or something like that. I could be completely talking only out of my ass right That's now. That's usually what you do. But it is called Virgin Bourbon. Dude, honestly, it doesn't smell that bad. It is 101 proof. How much did it cost? I'd imagine it was $11 your, based on the deal? bottle. What? That based on the bottle. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um... Got like a what the fuck did that goddamn cat go? <laughs> Just Craig said at Jeremy Sears. I don't know about a linguist, but maybe at a different level on the spectrum. <laughs> You're on the spectrum, all right. I know he's saying that me and Jeremy both are. I'm just a little higher than he is. Oh, that's amazing. You guys get any of that wildfire haze up in middle? No, there's not a lot of wildfire haze up here. Used to be Heaven Hill, so. Okay. It's the worst label in history. No wonder Schmred likes it. He's a McKenna fan. He's um, a Heaven Hill fan. What did he... No, he really didn't like like Elijah Craig Rye or it's something. It's uh, shit on it. Grassy. Little peanut shell. Is little it? cornbread. I want... A little bit of honey. There it's is, not that bad, honestly. There's literally no information. It's like thirteen ninety five. Okay. Okay, I said 11. I was pretty close. It smells like really... Really cheap whiskey. Dude, I bet you that would kick ass in, like, an under-20 bracket. That's pretty good, actually, for $14. Somebody said eight ninety nine on sale. Okay. Judo Craig <laughs> said, don't sweat it. They got what was coming to them. I killed another one oh. yesterday. There's still two in here. I can't find them. They're hiding. Oh. Ricky said there is smoke from the fire here. Damn, really? That's it's crazy. So far away. Um, Grant Hartwig sent a picture in the whole city. Like, he was on, like, basically a rooftop in a city. You can't see the buildings. It's insane. Thrasher said his wife and him are celebrating 20 years tonight. Congratulations, sir. Cheers to you. Cheers, buddy. Congrats. Um, knowing each other? Or? I'm just kidding. Oh, That's worst. awesome, dude. Uh, Benjamin said, hashtag Ricky Lees. Dude, I'm that would start. be the tier, too, on oh. Patreon. For sure. Yeah. And we just put videos up there. The problem is, that's going to have to be filtered. Yep. First, that's, 
Patrick Fulmer dropping an alley bomb. Virgin Bourbon is here in AL oh. ABC stores. Heaven Hill Juice recently lost its seven-year age statement. Fifteen bucks. Good after some air time. Okay. Honestly, uh, it's got a little bit of that, that peanut shelly Heaven Hill. I would believe it's Heaven Hill. It is off not that. plastic. It is a glass bottle. Yeah. But, I mean, it's so cheap. I'd put it right up there with like Varial Barton for me. That's a, so. That's I'm trying to think of other 15ers ish I, or sub 20s. I really like. If it's sub 20, they're all the same price, right? Yeah. We, like yeah. if it's sub 20, I don't care if it's 10. I don't care if it's 18. Yeah. I really don't. I don't hate that. Can I tell you what it's better than? Did you see me bottle chug Evan Williams bottle and bomb the other night? Why? Because I said in at the beginning of Matt's in the Bardstown worst. takeover, which is what I'm calling it now. I said at the beginning, if Matt wins this, I will bottle chug Evan Williams' bib because he hates that shit. It's his least favorite. I bottle chugged it and forgot that these are made for pouring. These, these. Oh, it it comes out quick. Oh, she's a guzzler, right? (laughs) I like that. And, dude, the bottle literally let out a sigh of. (laughs) Dude, I almost choked, swallowed it, and was like, oh. One more cast. Come on, electricity. Don't fail me. I need my live stream fix. Cheers, all. Thanks for being here, sir. Hopefully your uh, internet and electricity don't Dude, go Schmidt Schmidt's in here. Thank God for Schmidt <laughs> Schmidt, dude. Z-Man, great vi- video junkies. Teared up like a man watching it. LOL, hashtag BJ. Hell yeah, dude. Um, okay. Barrel yeah, a lot of people are barrel? saying Sam Houston at 120 shipping all day. Barrel Proof Barbell is in here. Hey. Starting a YouTube channel. Yeah. That is OG Sir Chris Reggie, if you guys are wondering. At some point, I believe he's going to be streaming with Trev Wilson. So check that out. Wait for that because they're both the best people. What's in that BTEC bottle? We're not there yet, dude. I got to give this a fair and honest review. We gotta gr- we're got we grading it and everything. Oh. Um, I mean, what? So we're talking 14 bucks. How? What else? I don't even know what competes with that. Okay. I, the problem B is, plus. is a lot of the stuff sub-20 that I think competes with it, you don't like. And then some of the stuff that you like sub-20, I don't like. So I think JTS Brown Burr. competes with it, and I think that very old Barton, the ninety proofer, yeah, would compete or be. I think this. I would like the ninety proofer. I'd give the like the ninety proofer like an A or A minus. I'm gonna give that like a B plus A minus range. There's a little. I like that a lot. It's got a little peanut shelly in there, yeah. but it's still got. Uh, it's got some green in there. A little a little green though. A little cornbread, honey. It's not bad. Here, can, no, dude, Tommy I'm, D, another five dollars for missing my first super chat. God damn it! Fucking Did we? Sean, dude, every time Sean misses a Where's super chat, where's that window dude, at? Every time. Is it over here? Yep, it's called viewer activity, which is weird because you guys are actively speaking, but no, we said it. Tommy D, he said, "Koyo." Dude, I said, "Dan, say it." Koyo, like a don't, fucking Russian. Don't fucking lie to me. Koyo, koi, koyo. How do you oh, say God. it right for me? One time. Koyo. Koyo. Was that the closest I've ever been? Probably. I feel like we're making progress, which is. I don't even know if I say it right. Uh, (laughs) Alec tells me I say shit wrong a lot, so. (laughs) Sean actually mispronounces everything in in cigars. There you go. We got a cool cigar video coming. I've been talking to Alec. We've been putting something together. Well, Zachary has posted the other picks while listening. Sorry, no feet pick, but did give you a bath pick. Also, Jameson definitely loves the clips of Knox in the clips. Knox is a giant, and he. Is a terror dog. That's yes. what I call him. He got beaten last night. That was quite the... Dude, when you texted me back this morning about the... You're like, <laughs> after this happens, doesn't it go better? I read it, and I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even feel okay laughing about this. Mike McDonald, thanks for the <laughs> entertainment. That and Welsh Special Reserve helped him pass the time during all the rain here in Northwest Florida from the biatch. Sally, cheers. Alec Webb said... Every- this is a super chat. God kills a puppy. Well. Shit. Well. They're damn near extinct. <laughs> Just puppies. Yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah. Let's do. So. Are we good? Yeah, go ahead. What would you give it? A B? B plus. I'm going flat B. I think JTS Brown's a B plus. No. I think very old Barton 90 proof is an A. I think that's a, it's a nice little $15 bottle. This is better than every granddad product I've had under 20. Yeah. It's better than Evelyn's bib for me. Uh, me too. I like bib a lot more than you. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm looking at the bottom shelf, and I'm not finding stuff that would crush this. Now, it's the worst label I've ever seen in my life. It's like uh, you, you gave him a Jack Daniels label. Yep. And you said, just fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> Slap her on there. That's, good to go. You know what? That's a really good point. 
It looks like it was a shitty label from the 80s. Oh, well, now I'm in Chicago. Brett, he did not chew the shoes or the couch. He tried to chew my head last Chewed night. Chewed which is hilarious. We were uh, playing around a little bit, and apparently he got mad and bit my head. I don't think he got mad. I wasn't there. Little little blood drawn. So I don't have any say in this. And then uh, we had a, a talk. So Sean shocks him when he's good, so I can't imagine <laughs> oh. how that went. Um, <laughs> uh, so... That's a good one. Greatest cork pop up. It's a BTEC bottle. Greatest cork pop I've ever heard in my life. So this is, did you rinse it at least? Yeah. Rinse your glass. I did, with water. There's a lot of water in there, so it wasn't there, Chief. <laughs> You're about to be wearing a lot of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this <laughs> bottle is from Will Bowen. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you read Julie's comment? Bubble bath bourbon. Yeah, you can cap my homework. Just change it up a bit to make it not obvious. <laughs> Okay. Uh, the funny thing is, this is charcoal filtered, but it's it's not from Tennessee. It's yeah. from Kentucky. So, yes, I I do subject myself to Dan's views off air. Listen, Julie, you said a nice thing about Matt. I put it in the video that you said the nice thing about Matt, and now you're taking Sean's side. I don't appreciate that at all. I did not kick him in the head, barn door. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ricky said, "Peter is gonna cancel your asses." I've not shocked a single Knox. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A Knox, I have not shocked. How about a Cooper? And a Knox, I will not shock. <laughs> so, okay. Eddie Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez, the UFC fighter himself Holy in shit. the chat, found a Buffalo Trace kosher. Ryan Wee today, trying them out for the first time. I got as it makes me want to say, oi! Which one's your favorite? Rye. E- the rye recipe. No. Yeah, rye or rye recipe because it's different. Actually, the rye and the rye recipe we like more than the wheat. Yeah. So just yeah, saying no matter rye what, rye. been pretty safe. Okay. Let's see. 18th Street Distillery. The first artisan distillery to open pro- since Prohibition in Hammond, Indiana. <laughs> I owe you a little water this there. Really cold. <laughs> that was extremely cold water. <laughs> <laughs> You're just intently reading. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a pretty Ooh. cool label, obviously from a craft distillery in Indiana, made in Indiana. 55% ABV, 110 proof. Will Bowens, thanks for sending it, buddy. Okay, this is an interesting question from the old Tim C. He said, my smaller Texas area, real tobacco little hay, a lot of leather. That is the freshest <clears throat> Sharpie I have ever smelt in my fucking life. My smaller <laughs> Texas area has moved to a friends and family listing for any possible real bottles. I just had a stroke. What are your opinions <laughs> of a list out system versus lottery? Um, you've had way more strokes than me tonight. I'd like to I point know. it out. Just not a, for enough now. fish oil. Yeah, I take a lot now. I got up to three thousand milligrams a day. Um, oh my gosh, it's worse. I'll come back to it. It keeps getting worse. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of torn in between because I I don't dislike. What's the, that mean? I'm so confused. What do you mean? Friends and they family moved listing. To a friends and family listing. I don't know what that means. So basically, it's like they take care of people that take care oh, of them. I feel okay. Sure. Yep. Okay. So, I mean, it sucks if you were not a person that shops there regularly and knows the people and talks to them yeah. and is on the inner circle. But if you are, it's a lot cooler. So, I don't know, man. If you are it's one hard. of the people that supports the store, then you want the store to help you out when it comes time to get something hard to find, right? But, that being said, it does remove some of, like, the fun from hunting, and it doesn't give people who aren't at the store all the time that? the opportunity to get a rare bottle from that store. But, honestly, I... If you have a good relationship with a store owner and they take care of you, I feel like that's a really cool experience. It's a cool relationship to have. Grant wants to know, is that from the brewery, 18 Street Whiskey? I don't, how do I tell you? I don't know. Probably said something about it. Jeff the Rowland. first artisan distillery. Is it in Hammond, Indiana? Because if it's in Hammond, I'd imagine. Jeff Rowland said, cheers, guys. About to head home from work and pop my ECBP B520. Excellent. Should I try my new AB coil or Magic Toast with it? Oof. With the B520, you're going to want to go coil. Man, that's a lot of... Yeah, it's fine. It's a lot of proof. Wait, 520 is a low one. I mean, it's... Right or no? I thought 520 was the low proof. Like oh, no, 518 was the low proof. 19, whatever the fuck it's called. So it's going to be like 136 then. Then, oh, we have that Ezra bottle, but haven't opened. Can't wait to hear. Okay. Knox Paisley, <laughs> why do you kick, Dad? That's so good. I saw Sean I've one never time once kicked that dog. Pick him up. And yep, and love him. Throw him against the brick wall. And you know what Knox did? 
He just licked his hand. You that can't, was all he did. You can't say these things of me actually abusing animals. We wouldn't be friends if you abused <laughs> animals. Like, this is clear. <laughs> I he love said you. He loves me anyway. Yeah. I love you anyways. Oh. No, Dad. Okay. So. No, Daddy. No. You use foul language in front of a woman. <laughs> Poor little Max. Sixty-three percent. Yeah, that is hot. Five twenty is a high end. Magic toast is better with coffee than whiskey. Yeah. Koyo. Fucking nailed it. I don't know why is, you have a stroke every time. It's a Russian. My tongue doesn't work that way. Um, dude, that funk. Funk ain't coming off. I would think this is from Texas. That smells, it's from Indiana. That smells like permanent markers rubbed in hay with, no, 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 rubbed in tobacco leaf, yep. dried tobacco leaf. Yep. Nope, stale tobacco no, leaf. No, 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 you aged the, you, you, oh, it's so bad. you took some yes. water from some wet hay, right? Strung it out onto a tobacco leaf. Okay. Took that tobacco leaf, put it onto a saddle. Right, and then I had a cowboy ride that around. No, there's no taint sweat this time. <laughs> this is missing the taint sweat. It's all... I haven't tried it yet, but I'm assuming the taint sweat's going to be in the palate. Got a whole lot of the farm in there. Why'd you turn away, Dan? Dude, the finish is so much better than the palate, I'm going to be honest. That palate... Caramel. I had to get away from it. Let's it's put it like a, it's a honey on the the, the end. I, the finish is, you know what? The finish, n- nice toast, drizzled in honey. Mm-hmm. It's fan- the finish, actually, I really do enjoy. Getting there is not fun, though. You ever heard the song, If You're Going Through Hell? Keep on going. <laughs> that man drank a whole bottle of this while he wrote that song. How's the Red Label MP there? Thinking about picking one up. It's good, man. Those are store picks. Um, the newer batches of Mayor Pingree Red Label are five years now. <laughs> Sweetens Cove, too. <laughs> um, no. Sweetens Not that Cove. bad. No. I'd uh, probably just broke that bottle. So, Will, I believe. Stabbed in with it. Why does, the problem is the nose is not good. If we don't get to 200 likes, I'll fucking end the stream. There are like five or 600 people in here. I will end this shit. Oh, I also, just please like Trev, it. I thought YouTube just gave you a blue wrench in every fucking live chat ever. So it was really, I was so <laughs> confused for the Bardstown when you were talking with no uh, blue wrench. I don't, I don't get it. Knox's favorite bottle is Larceny. The store picks, so. though. Oh. I've I given him lots. Bullshit. That seems to be the one he goes back to. <laughs> um, <laughs> Speaking of my dog animal. drunk. So, you know what this smells like? I just looked over. Little uh, memory recollection where the brain, the neurons, what D- they do is they intertwine. Nope, they fire. Uh, Dan will uh, knock Corey Vecken out of the park, though. Corey Vecken? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I yeah. can pronounce all Scotch. Not all. Talisker? Johnny Walker? Okay. Steve Damron. Ardabag? Nika Puro. Fantastic. With my Knob Creek store pick. And yes, check the spelling this time. Uh, Glenn Farkless? I bet you Monkey that's amazing. Shoulder? But I am ignoring Dan. <laughs> um... <laughs> Fucking Knob Creek, like the older store picks are always just, they're like picking Russell's uh, store pick. They're always going to be good with the cigar. Do you think that you'll be able to speak English tonight? Or are we Probably gonna? not. Okay. Can I, can I tell you what I think this reminds me of? What's wrong with my Gin. English? There? Gin? You just, stu- you just slurred three words in a row. Gin. That's Smell it. Think piney. It's mentally taxing. I get that. Being around you. Completely understand. It's like you're me. Uh, an IQ Void. You're like a black hole of I'm knowledge. So smart, I absorb other people. What you do is you make the people around you dumber. I'm you just six fifty three in chat. Eric Wait wants to know if this smells like a Cleveland steamer. Gin. Tell me not gin. Piney, no, nothing like floral. gin. Yeah, literally nothing like um, gin. What kind of floral is in gin? Botanical. I'm... Nailed it. I don't even need you, and I don't even need fish oil anymore, dude. I'm moving on up. <laughs> So, <laughs> when I move past needing Sean for language, it's gin. It smells no. like gin. No. I'm glad you're not I'm going to blind Sean thing. with fucking gl- Oh, yeah. The guy who basically smoke showed the last three whiskey wars we did. You're right. It's a good thing I wasn't there. You Yeah, because you wouldn't have gotten doers. That's so cold. I'll tell you that. That's so cold. Because you would have said duars, and then been like, he, get him out. <laughs> get him the fuck out. Listen, he can't pronounce our distillery. He's got to leave. 
All right, 666. I think like 670-something is our... 670 is actually even or something like that. That is our... uh, How about you uh, make everyone go away and shout out new patrons? Last night was epic. (laughs) It was all (laughs) junkies in the chat, and that one guy who was a Brad (laughs) fan wasn't enjoying himself. Yeah. Can we? uh, You know what? I'm going to say this on stream, and I don't know Brad. Maybe Brad's a great guy. Brad will will never see this. Brad won't. Mark K. Oop, dog. So, I feel like I did that pretty well. So, um... At the end, I was watching. Brad seemed bummed, right? As, as listen, as a competitive person, yeah. not winning, you'd be bummed, right? Now, she said at the very end, everybody glam, gra- you know glam, what? I'm everybody now. glam. Everybody glam. <laughs> oh, no. Everybody grab a glass, right? And everybody's going to cheers Matt for winning. I need you to fucking pay attention to this part. <laughs> you got to read Nick Paul's Oh, comment. my gosh. I love during the Bardstown live stream when some guy said best cigars were Rocky Patels. Then he had 30 people telling him to get some damn AB cigars. And Alec was in the chat, too. Was he? Yeah. That's amazing. Um, there was a contractor here after it started. So I had to walk out, talk to the contractor. I came back and rewatched it later. And I made the video of me chugging the envelopes because I was so happy for Matt. Didn't even cry three times. Anyways, Chris damn Jeanette. the Psalm scientist Chris Jeanette is yep. right. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait, it's wait. It's a solid fuck, Brad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Listen, if you don't know Trev uh, Wilson, yeah. if you don't know the blue hammer Trev, then you are a bot yourself, dude. Super late. We'll watch later. Have a good night, Brandon. Thank you for Thank being, you being here. here. Thank you for the super chat. Listen, so at the end, she goes, everybody grab a glass. We're gonna, or gra- gra- grab a glass. For fuck's sake, the words grabbing glass mix up in my brain. They cheers like this. They do like that. You know what Brad did? No Glenn. Reach for his computer. Like, fucking end <laughs> I swear to God. I'm out. <laughs> I watched the video because I chopped up the whole video so I could make the video I made today. I'm watching the video, and I get to the end, and everyone, every, nine, well, there's what? There's 11 I mean, people. Yeah. Counting Sam. Everyone except Brad. If Brad had a Glenn in his hand, it would have went to his computer to end the whole thing. Needless to say. Well, we can't have oh that. Oh, my gosh. So, needless to say, you. That's what you get. get. You get a timeout camera on. Oh, and another one. Okay, so Matt Winning just backed Ba-boom. up what we already knew just Greg said. The problem is it's, the interesting thing about Matt Winning is that it's not something we already knew because I spanked him recently. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just so interesting. Brad wants to know why all the hate, Dan. Brad, listen. Don't be a dick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Alex Webb wants fish oil. Do you guys do several weeks? Yeah. That happens. You shut your fucking mouth. It happens. It I smoke more cigars than Sean. Sean drinks volumes of alcohol more than me. And I, just I don't beer. do sober weeks. So, like, if I'm not doing sober week, dude, there was one day Sean's like, well, I go, when's the last time you didn't drink? He's like, two nights ago. I'm like, no, like, no beer. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, exactly. I like having a beer with dinner. I don't know what you want yeah, from dude, me. I, I'm not judging you. It sounds like you are, though. I'm explaining that you're a liar. Yeah, Those but are very different if I drink things. a beer, my body's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks All for right. the water, buddy. <laughs> Why are we hydrating tonight? Okay. <sighs> I'm going to pour this whole thing on you. Nope, that'd be a bad Okay, idea. go ahead. I got the fridge over uh, here. All right. I'm going to so. pour this scalding hot coffee on you in retaliation. <sighs> Why didn't they invite you then, Dan? Was it an invite? Was it an invitation thing? No. Did I get left? Oh, I was about to be really hurt. No, we don't smoke weed because we have jobs that will definitely fire us for that. Mine won't. Mine will. But I don't. So. Schmau schmemical. <laughs> this tiny corporation. Don't give a fuck. I was like, who's schmau? And then you went with schmemical. <laughs> <laughs> Made way more sense. I tried to do sober more. Holy shit. Brad coming in with the fucking heat in the comment section. Okay. Now, this is an Ezra Brooks. Did I say it right? I'm just wondering why you're not pouring me any. Fucking selfish asshole. Okay. That was rude. So, Are we doing a whiskey war tonight? We're supposed to. Fuck. So, that's why I'm pouring small amounts. That's why I split the OFBB because I was like, oh, it looks like a mad idea to me. Okay. Oh, that smells so, amazing. I had a really cool experience the other day where... A guy named Norman was like, have, do you guys have any of these Ezra Brooks store picks? And I said, no, we don't. I've never seen one of the Me black either. label Ezra Brooks store picks. In person, I've seen them on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. My gosh, Chris Allen. I'm in Sean Beardles. I was <laughs> drinking until you open the second 12-pack. 
Dale Christensen. Late like, to the party. Is Dan trying flipping an open <laughs> bottle yet? Dude. If you're not a patron and you didn't see that behind the scenes, or if you're a patron and you didn't see that behind the scenes, that went up, was it Friday? Yeah. One of the best behind the scenes I think we've probably ever had. I laughed my ass off. I almost unconsciously oh. flipped that bottle. Let's say that's a new record, 674. Cheers. Holy shit. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, Mark, is it, is it an I? Roland? Royland? No, is scroll it? a little and see if it's something on the... I, I think know. it's an I. Royland. Royal Land. Royland. Royal Land. Mark Royal Land. Yeah. Where's Doug? He's at home sleeping. He's probably he, not sleeping, he but he's... Here's your story. Anyways, about this. So, Norman hits me up and goes, do you guys have anyone? This is supposed to be the first one in the state. I'll grab one for you guys. I'm like, dude, that would be super cool because we have this one, the one that's over there. Yeah. That Rebel Yell, which is a red label. Will you grab that? Look at... They're the exact same labels, if you're wondering. They're literally <laughs> yeah, they the are. same. But it just, instead of Rebel, yeah. it just says Ezra Brooks. Yes. Everything else is the exact they're same. They're both from Lux Row, which is why. Well, that one says Sour Mash, Charcoal Mill, Mellowed, Weeded, Definitely Smooth. Okay, so anyways. Maybe it says Defiantly. Fuck. So, <laughs> okay, so this Ezra Brook, he's like, this is supposed to be the first one in the state. Well, A and B got this Rebel Yell pick a week or two ago, and we oh really like this God. Rebel Yell pick. They're both barrel proof. This one's 56.5%. This one's 53.5%. So, um... I met him at the farmer's market. He drove this up here to drop it off. I met him at the farmer's market. We chatted for like a half an hour. I had a great time talking to him. What's the proof on the Ezra awesome Brooks dude. pick? I just said. Rob R. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, they're a minute behind I know. Him, it hasn't so. come across on the screen yet. But it is. The Ezra Brooks picks 53.5%. Um, but I had an awesome time talking to him. It was a blast. This is four. This is four-year-old whiskey. This Ezra Brooks? It smells like cinnamon cotton candy. And it's fantastic, dude. It smells so good. It's from, the pick is from Bernstein Liquor Store. Benstein. Bernstein? Ben Berenstein. Nope, it's B-E something. Berenstein Bears. Uh, so, dude, I wanted to compare the two because of the same label. They're both Lux Row. I know one's a weeder and one's not, but yeah. they're both really similar proof-wise. No, I'm, I'm sticking with it. It is Oak Stave. That is... Wrapped in some cinnamon cotton candy on the nose. Really? <laughs> Steve Dameron said, don't worry, we're all here to congratulate ADHD. He that streams on Friday, all right? You guys go to his stream and congratulate See if we can hit 700. I, I mean, we got 14 dude. to go-ish. That's fucking awesome. Okay. Holy shit, 686 is the most we ever had. All right. Mm. These picks, this was like... Um, I just finished mine. That's okay. Guess Didn't. how much it is. 40 bucks. Yeah. Hmm. That's okay. insane. A barrel proof bourbon pick. 40 bucks. That's like a solid B plus for me. At yeah. 40? Yeah. Hater. Yeah. Because I, I think this is my A. I think the, I like the Rebel Yell a little bit more. Yeah, you're a weeder, man. I am. And this isn't expensive enough for you to like it, so I don't. Also fair. Because this is more expensive. This was like 45 or 50, the Rebel Yell is. Um. <sighs> So, <clears throat> six ninety two, <clears throat> holy shit! If we, dude, we're so close to seven hundred. Somebody, somebody, get on your make bot account. Bunch of bot accounts. <laughs> That's crazy though. For real, thank you guys for being here. Yeah, That's ridiculous. We haven't gotten to the whiskey war yet. We've been sitting here drinking like assholes. Talk about how cool Matt is. Yeah, okay. I get it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick my dude. Shoes off. I like on the nose. I like the Ez- the Ezra more. <laughs> also, I just want to say thanks. For coming up here and chatting with me. It was so much fun. He's like, I'm the guy with a big beard and a handlebar mustache. You can't miss him. <laughs> and I walk over, and he wasn't lying. Fit the bill, Dude, huh? we talked for like a half an hour. It was amazing. It was fantastic. Tyler Cooper. Get old man winner. Some gist for men's. <laughs> Trevor Wilson said, bots incoming. Thanks, man. I know you're a uh, Russian botter number one. I'm going to... Oh. Oh. That Ezra is... It- so much better. It's not even funny. Than this? The Rebel Yes. Yell? It's ridiculously. The Ezra is better balanced. It's a nice sweet whiskey. The Weeder's too spicy. Mm. The Weeder, that Rebel drink's hot. Ooh. There's a grassiness on the Rebel that I don't remember. Yeah. Well, I'm that's to come. because it's not as good. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. That Rebel's terrible compared to that Ezra. <laughs> I give that Rebel an E. 
Alex Wazowski. What's a whiskey you've tried multiple times? It still doesn't hit like everyone says it should. May fourth try with Smoke Wagon, uncut, unfiltered. What? No, we really like that. Um, what? Have you ever had it? We had a sample sent to us. Did you drink it? I, unless you drank it all. I remember having it because we broke out the Desert Jewel with it, I thought. Uh, no, we didn't. Oh. I think it's over there. I don't think we've opened it yet. I drank one because Klein had one. Remember? And you were always like, I never had it. And then somebody like pity sent us some uh-huh. because of you. Maybe that's what. I think that's what, what happened. We, what, what we have a sample of? We pulled something out and had the Desert Jewel next to it. It's like we've been doing a lot of these. <laughs> it's like we drank a <laughs> lot of whiskey. I think, um, I think Elijah Craig 18 is always one that is one that. A lot what? That we don't like. Close that and put the chat back up there because it froze. Oh, no. Our chat froze. Close. If you just pull a new pop-out chat, it should refresh itself. Got her. Okay. Might have missed some stuff there. Let me. Oh, yeah, we definitely we missed did. some stuff. 700. No, we didn't uh, scroll down. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was we, it. Yeah, we got that one. I th- yeah, EC18 is fair. I, for me, um, a lot of people like a lot of the barrel products. Yeah. Um, I think we, I don't know if we haven't had the right <laughs> ones. We like Dovetail. Grant Hardwick said 700 in chat, and he don't give a bottle away. It's maybe Stogies. <laughs> there you go. Patrick Fulmer, 687 chat. You shitting me? I, I like don't. the RU with the S with the money sign S, dude. Stanley Wagner Jr. got two little books for 85 apiece. Which ones? I need to know. And ECB 520 for dude, 65. Hella worth it. Dude, as long as those little books were two and three. Yeah. Super worth it. Yeah. If also thoughts on Old Forster Single Barrel Bev Mo I don't know. store pick. I uh, Probably good. We've never had it. Probably, yeah. I mean, we've had a shit ton of old Forster picks and we've liked every single yep. one. So, yep. Rebel Yell 100, dirt and cinnamon to me, Clifford Cawson said. Dirt and cinnamon. <laughs> I like those notes together a lot. Um, yeah, Stanley, let us know which ones you got. Okay. Matt, when you said Monte Cristo pairing and it literally cut to Zoom cut to her because she laughed loud enough. That Zoom thought she was the fucking presenter at the moment in time. It's fantastic, dude. We hit 700. We hit 702 according to concurrent right there. Any that giveaways tonight? Damn. Feeling super lucky from last week's coffee mug. Apparently, yeah. Grant Hardwick's giving away a bottle. And, and some cigars. cigars. <laughs> you know what? We'll give away a... Yeah. We're going to give away a mystery box. Ooh. Ooh. Nobody knows what's in it until you win it. Nobody kept track of all the names either, so that'd be really difficult. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, Kerber's light. Uh, Kerber's basically in a fucking hurricane. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. needless to say, um, we'll figure it out. We'll scroll up and down in there. We'll do two. We'll, so we got well, we two can, giveaways. We can go back through the this. Yeah, we can do that. And so, then just pick a random. That's what I'm saying. We can just scroll it, scroll it, scroll it, and drop it. Don't do it now because then somebody loses their chance to win. So, anyways, two giveaways. Yeah. We're doing a mystery box that'll have things in it. And Grant's doing a bottle and cigars. So those are the giveaways right now. Oh, uh, what do you want to flip for 700? Double, 7 million live viewers. <laughs> Truth. Congrats, guys. Mike Cook, thank you, buddy. Never thought we'd have anywhere near 7 million concurrent. Feeling good. Already dropping things. Dude, you know what I want to do? I, I mean, wanna, we keep I talking wanna, about it. I want to so. do a better, I want to redo the bottle flip game. I'll flip it to you. You flip it to me. Yep. Is that what, we just yep. had the same thought? Yep. <laughs> I hope everybody saw me catch this oh, off the shelf. That's what you're flipping, huh? Fell off the shelf and it caught it. All right. Here we go. You need to stop jumping up and down in that chair. I heard this chair cost enough that it better not fucking break, dude. I would probably got a warranty at this Steve point. Roland said, smash that like button, people. Please do hit the like button if you're in here. 708 concurrent. It does help the channel a bunch. It helps our streams. It helps everything. So please hit the like button. It's free for you. Woo-hoo. It takes a second. All right. I'm going to flip. Go to the outside. I can't really go to the outside, so I'm going to flip crotch. We're going crotch flip. Okay. Okay. On three. On three. You're We're doing the, the big the, one, too, huh? We got a Calumet 14. Now, after we catch these, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. 
Seven ten in the chat. I know, bitch. I threw you a double flip. Right on time. <laughs> I don't even know how many times. Any... Why does it taste like rye? Mm. You know what this tastes like? That's good. Vodka. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> DB McGee ain't in here, so. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for being here for real. I'm sure everybody left after we bottle flipped and then bottle chugged. Lots of people don't like that. All right. I threw you a double, and I feel like you didn't even give me any props. How perfect of a flip that was. It landed right here. You didn't I have was, to think about it. I looked. For some reason, I looked at the one I flipped instead of the one you sent to me. So I'm like, oh, and I was like, oh, shit. Dude, but basically. All right. All right. All right. Scroll all right, scroll all right. I, saw the, okay. I saw the little book answer, right? Scroll up. Oh, which one do you say? Scroll up. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down. You keep going too far. Right there. I have a little book, 2017, one and two. Oh, no, that's not the same person. Oh, okay. My bad. All right. All right. Keep going down. Kevin to bear. Add blood oath pack six sample as well as the LBP sample. Third, yeah. Wait, what is LBP? Larceny barrel proof. Who mentioned a larceny barrel proof? I don't know. Was it in here? Damn it. I don't know what you want from me. I'm just guessing. All right. Well, uh, Joe Dubai, sir. We just got a 2016 WLW. Super excited. Congrats, mm-hmm. Matt wow. Jacob Dorikas. Thank you, too, for the Super Chats. That was the Calumet 14, now that everybody left because they hated that. Um, Old Man Joe, double bottle flip. Is that Jeremy's here? Um, let's see. All right, I thought we... Dude, we got a lot of nailed it. Nailed it. Frickin' nailed it. Yeah. Got to risk it all. Nailed it. Hell yeah, amazing. Juggled. Can't do that. Nope, not going to do that again. Um, Dan, your palate is fucked. <laughs> Tastes like edamame, Levi Hall. <laughs> that might be one of the most notorious tasting notes on the channel now. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the whiskey board. Oh, are we? Yep. I'm going to move on. That Ezra Brooks is drastically better than the Rebel Yell. Not even close. Dave Russell, congrats on 710 in the chat. And successful bottle double flip. Thank you very Triple much. Triple flip. because Somebody gift that, dude. Somebody gif it. Throw it in the Facebook group. Tag us. Let's see it. I want to see if it was majestic or if it looked like shit. Because we did it in 1080. Uh, Joey Yoshizumi asked Yoshi. if we had tried the black market. I don't know. I don't think I've revisited one. Um, so do you know what's interesting? Go Some ahead. of those filthy hooligans are actually black market. Oh, yeah, they are, aren't they? Cause Some of them, not we, all of yeah, them. Yeah, the one that we just had last week was. That was the one that wasn't. The triple isn't. The double. The one mm. I had. No. Nope. What did I? There was a purple one. Yeah. There was an orange one. Jeez, oh, fuck. Same household, why does, too. Why does Dan L. do all... How does he get all the fancy shit in his super chats? I don't know. He does those cool emojis. Chris Boozes wins here. Hell Love yeah. the bottle flips and bottle chugs. Thank, Thank you, you, you sir. Here, Dan L. Cheers. Cheers to you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Right. Got a snail bit. Super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say that DJ tastes like vodka? I might have, and I might have just been referencing Michael Schmein. Yep. Ah, the old DD. <laughs> Julie L, because I have to spend more money than Dan L, or he gets false hopes for retiring. One day. <laughs> Thank you very much to both of you for the super chats. You guys are amazing. Indeed. Tim Evans, we're Which back over 700, 700 bomb. again. My gosh. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Travis Stoltenberg, cheers to football. Being back, baby. Who's your team? You know it's the fucking Alejandro. Tampa. The Schmay Buccaneers with the Tom Brady Gronk. Lost. Uh, we'll let you know good. when we uh, need the, the keys. You can post oh, them now. Wait, post the key in yeah, the group? Yeah, you can post it now. Okay, so let's Just let's as do long that. as no one puts it in chat, that'd be great. No. So the key, so the whiskey war right here is from Alejandro. He's going to post the, the key, or this is a whiskey. He's going to post the key in the Facebook group. So if you're in the Facebook group, you can go and see what we're drinking as we're drinking it. <laughs> um, if you're not, you can go join, but you've got to answer the questions. So uh, Alex Forestia. Dan. Sean, how much do you drink? Today? Not often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Thank uh, you for Yeah, that. I watched the Lions give me a fucking heartbreaking Don't loss. watch the Lions. Yeah. It's so better they, to be a bandwagoner than a Lions fan. Yeah, it was, it was painful. Statement. We were golfing with the in-laws, and uh, we checked the phone. We're like, holy we were shit, golfing. we're way up. Hold on real quick. Got, got back in the truck just in time to hear them on their 20, the 21st unanswered point. <laughs> <laughs> there, chapter four. Ooh. Chapter f- now we haven't had it, but I have not heard good things. Let's put it that, that way. Bevmo and haven't tried any of them. Suggested retail was one twenty nine, so grabbed them. Also picked up two lost monarchs at thirty five. Yeah. Solid That's fucking a great deal, deal right there. Okay, can I tell you something? Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. And I don't need you to expand on it. I just want I just want like a 
basically a yes or no type answer. Tyson McKinley said 700 chat, only 276 mm-hmm. likes. Get those numbers up. Them, that, the rookie numbers. You gotta, that you gotta pump those numbers up. Um, how was the cigar you smoked on the golf course? Finally. It was really good. It was fantastic. I gave though. you some tasting notes. They were not good, but. Okay. Here, now, here's the problem with your tasting notes. Yep. This is the actual problem with them. Go ahead. I smoked that. Over a month ago. <laughs> oh, I don't remember a no single idea. fucking yeah. thing. You said that, I'm like, maybe, dude. Possible. And then yeah. the problem is, I don't have another one, so I can't revisit. Write shit down. Do you? Yeah. In, I, in a text, yeah. Fucking shit. Fucking okay. asshole. Anyway. It's surgical, too. Fair. Josh Fair Pence. Motherfucking Matt Porter. 700 watching. Double bottle flips. Bourbon junkies for the win. Thanks for being Thanks here, sir. Buddy. Patriots. Want to know? <laughs> How the hell? No, Barn Door, that's a new cricket, buddy. I, Sean, oh. Sean's killed several. I hunt daily. I smushed one last time. I, it was a loud noise. It, Dan it was like, uh, I think you got it. it was Dude, like, oh, for sure. Sean, it was, it was like, it got behind one of the wall panels. That was a family of locusts. <laughs> Do you know what locusts are? Not really. Okay. I'm going to teach you something. Kind of. This is a little bro science. Should have just said yes. <laughs> Humility is not a good color on you. <laughs> Brian Egan. <laughs> Letting up a guardian of the farm and drinking some OF 1920. Congrats to Matt and the junkies. I don't know what a guardian of the farm is. Sounds good, though. I like the name. Okay, listen. So do I. A locust yep. is just a cricket Okay. that basically became... Fucked a grasshopper. No, no, no. It oh. became possessed. And they fucking transform into demon cricket. <laughs> and then they can kill shit and eat everything. Isn't that weird? It's the same exact creature. I thought they, I thought they were different. I thought they lived between a cricket and a grasshopper. They evolved, basically. Okay. But quickly. Okay. Like, demon? <laughs> fucking locust. That's, that is just... <laughs> just telling you, <laughs> Just buddy. say yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jay Hamilton. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> Okay, I gotta read this. We gotta, okay, get, go ahead. we gotta fucking get in here. Oh shit! I like this. Oh, there's an extra sample here for a little cigar whiskey. I like that a lot because we have never Perfect. ever ever had that sample. So, BJ's and he spelt it B E E J A Y S, and I like that a lot. Okay, go ahead. It's time we recalibrate some quality whiskeys and watch you go through some wild, crazy, funky ass whiskey wars the past few weeks. It's been, it's been <laughs> some something. of them are rough. Inside, you'll find a whiskey war barrel proof. Hitters, all caps. Oh, nothing finished, nothing crazy. Now. All Kentucky bourbons. Some are pretty high proof. You may want to spend some time with this war. My goal of this war is to change y'all's mind about one particular thing. We can discuss that after the fact. Through an, a sample of Garrison Bros. Cowboy Bourbon 2019. I imagine it goes well with a cigar. Hell, yes. Dude, I'm excited because we've never had it. We've seen this and not bought it because of the it? price. Sorry. This is Garrison's Cowboy Bourbon. Oh, shit, yeah. We've seen it, yeah. and we've never this had is, it. Yeah, this is bucket list shit for us right yeah, now. We've always talked about one and tried We this. saw one in Texas, I think, for the Tribe event last year. Cheap. It was 200 and some bucks, yeah. and it was like, we got to fly back with that. Yep. That doesn't seem like and, a great uh, idea. Anyway. One bottle that we did fly back with exploded anyway, yep. so. Um, Dan L., yeah, it's pretty much uh, an insect farm in Dan's swamp. A meal. Oliver, Listen. nothing good to say. Cheers. Hey, thanks for being here. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Listen, I want to tell you. MacGyver. Matt's in the running for Blend Again and Champ tomorrow. Could he be the best blender and taster in the you at in the world? Just say world. I mean, it, could he? Yeah. But I like how there's just an A on this glass. Do we have another whiskey war from Dan and Julie to do? We do. Now, if I beat him there, do I automatically win Bardstown's competition? I do. So that's interesting how that works out. You know what I mean? I need more whiskey to fucking deal with you right now. <laughs> All right. Recreational entomology with Dr. Dan of Bourbon Junkies. <laughs> Hot buttery rolls. You set. know what that is? Yeah, dude. It's about uh, bugs. Recreationally, though. No, it's literally the study of bugs. Well, yeah, I said it's about bugs, dude. It's not, there's nothing recreational about No, it. he said recreational. Nah. He said the word. That he's saying shitty bugology. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. like I'm fucking bugology. stupid. Yeah. Grab the fingers, dude. Like Why you're are we fucking doing this? stupid. Why are we doing it like this? All right. Brad Barber sent us. I got these in the mail today. I, I didn't even know they were coming. These. He put these in the Facebook group, right? Yeah. And he's like, which colors everybody like? Ooh, they smell they good. They do smell They smell good. like stain. I mm-hmm. like that a lot. Smell yeah, a he lot goes back like to your glue huffing days. Glue and permanent markers Can as I a child. Can I move this? You can move those wherever you want, dude. You left them there. I wouldn't do that. They're very good. 
I had to take a picture with them open, so I'm like, might as well drink some if they're open. Oh, I know how you roll. Okay, <clears throat> these. Oh wait, wait. Grant's are, here, isn't he? Yes. He should tell us what the fuck these samples are. <laughs> he probably doesn't remember. One of them's a Weller foolproof, and I don't remember what the other one is. But I remember he sent them, and they've been sitting here for like a fucking year. Art McCoy said, "Anyone, anyone else have issues with Calibri lighter <laughs> refilling? So, um, use a canister with a different tip." Yeah, uh, I Sean found the, the one that the plastic tip it didn't. It wasn't like filling good. I used Dan's. He had a one that had like a metal fill tip, and it worked perfect. Yeah, it filled up because Sean was like, "I can't get mine over half." And yeah. then we used my uh, butane canister, and it filled it up. So. Yeah. All right, we have Kevin Raymond. Congrats to the CTE sound. <laughs> the true whiskey sound, Matt. That's super good. That's freaking hilarious. Hey, Rock Gut Review. Here, have some money, fellas. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for being buddy. here, man. Thanks for being here, dude. Rock Gut Review. Go check them out if you have not. They're making sure do that. whiskey videos. He's making a bunch of videos on how to force yourself to like shitty categories of whiskey, like Irish from time to time. It's fantastic. Boo. All right. I like Irish. You drink it. <laughs> Dan. All right, Dan. Dan. Branson Evans says, Dan. Like, I'm fucking stupid. Half second later. Dude, grab the finger. <laughs> you know, it's fair. Okay. okay. This, these right here, I want to talk about these real quick. I think that he's going to sell these. Oh, okay. We just got these today. They're little, like, Glenn flight holders, They're basically. Great. Yeah. Because then you got this. You know what's nice is when you set it in here. Yeah. It's nice. He rounded off these holes right here so they're not, like, fucking harsh edges. Nice and large for you, sir. All right. You want to do that right now? Yeah, do you it. got to get in here. Do it. Jeremy Sears, also make sure you purge it. Mine has some pressure in it and wouldn't fill till I purged it. Hmm. Dude, Jeremy, father fucking time with the wisdom. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Wisdom. I'm using the word wisdom for a reason because he's got wisdom. Now. That means he's old? Yes. Old people have wisdom. Boomers all, all have them. wisdom. Not all of They're them. They're supposed to. That's the whole point of being old. An old person without wisdom is like whiskey without alcohol. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty good analogy. Okay. So, power keeper, the boxes are over there, and they have dirty glasses in them. So yep. That's the issue. Because <laughs> um, oh, we, we just did a, a Thursday video that had them in it. But, yeah, for real, purge, uh, purge your thing. Sometimes if they don't light correctly, too, if you purge them, yeah. if it's not working, if you purge the pressure out of the bottom, even if there is... <laughs> Stuff in it. You're good. Ethan Wula. Red Rest fans are triggered me. Scary Peter said he's a wizard. Dude, Jer- Jeremy Sires is one of the greatest human beings of you all time. I want to fucking do my favorite segment now. Yep. I, ma- I made it real large Dude, for that's you a too. baseball player right there. No, that's Mike That's his Trout. brother. That's his brother. Kay. My bad. All right. Ready? Yep. New patrons. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for joining. Come hang out over there. Behind the scenes, weekly updates. Uh, we started using Lens a lot more just for, like, channel stuff. And, like, sometimes when Sean's shitty mountain bike riding... Hey, people really liked you basically crashing the other day out here. When you basically oh, tipped I, over in the clay because it's slippery as shit. Oh, dude, it fucking just ate my front wheel and was like, oh, God. <laughs> you tip over, I die laughing. Great lens. Anyways, um, thanks for being there, everybody. Look we have it. Alex Trout, Sean Campbell, Chris Rankin, Sarah Lawson, Emil Oliver bumped the pledge, John Ryan, Eric Hudson, Elisa Darmaclean, Kevin Ogan, Roger D. Vegas Art, Bumped his pledge. Vegas has been there a long ass time. Yes. Dart Hall 65, David Hawkins, Richard Ho, Michael Slutz himself, Sean Campbell, Tyler Cooper, James Savage. Who's James Savage? That's a famous person. No. Pretty sure that's a famous nope. person. Tyler Ross, Nicholas Jones, Jake Godsack. Nope. Ghost Deck. Polly <laughs> Whirl. Who's yep. Okay. Ryan Irvine. That's a Pokemon. Neil Solomon. Paul. Nope. Pat Hedge. Carl Pavlik and Jordan. James, thank you very much. Why are you clicking everything? Nope, that's not how you do that. That's the worst way to do that. Oh, that's a much that, better way you? to do that. All right, you missed a bunch of super chats. Many puppies died. Uh, right. Well, I was trying to control this for you. Let's go oh up. my gosh, a small Liberty Nell license said ten cents for you guys and four ninety for YouTube <laughs> or something like that. That's thank all right. God that is not the ratio. And <laughs> Aaron Yosefberg. Chamfered edges, pure class there. There you go, dude. That's a fancy word. I like that word. Zachary has likes the lens updates. I'm Corey Madden said, yeah, bleed the air out of the lighter then, Phil. <laughs> yeah, that would be a perfect. Kevin Campbell said, Dan was being so positive right up until you ate shit. <laughs> James oh. Moriam, congrats on the 700. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of it. Okay. 
Fred Savage. Fred Savage. Fred Savage famous. That's yeah. Boy Meets World. That's Corey. I love nope. a Fred Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The Fred Savage. Corey from oh, Boy Meets World. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, Adam Savage from Mythbusters. There's a lot of savages in this world. That's dude. the one I was thinking of. Is Adam Savage? One is uh, what are foolproof. The other is JD Heritage. I can tell off my <sighs> palette, buddy. You don't have to sort it out. They're fucking closed. <laughs> <laughs> There's still tape on them. No, no, no. He said that's what they were. Yeah. I'm saying I'll separate them with my Oh, mind. okay. Yeah, no shit. Um, Julie said you got to open up more tiers. That We have problems with fulfillment on some of the rewards in said tiers when it comes to Schmerl Schmicks and stuff like that. Yeah, we're so working that. that becomes our issue. We're working on that. Well, the problem is, like, there's only so many schmodels in a Schmerl Schmick. Yeah. So... We can't have too many people that are getting Schmerl Schmicks. Yeah, it's just not... It's, you know. Uh, DC, hashtag Superson. Nope, nope, nope. Hashtag Letter Kenny Sean. Nope. I hope the Sam Houston TN01 batch tastes delish. Cheers to uh, continued success. Glorious bourbon shenanigans. Hashtag double bottle flip. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you very much, DC. Dude, that fucking label that he did. Oh, my gosh. No, uh, they're not going to be able to see them. No, they're too you small. Well, you'll have to take a picture of something. All right. You just have to put them on, yeah. On lens. Yeah, yeah. Dan will put them on lens right now. Okay. Um, these are some of my favorite fucking uh, labels that we've ever had. Bubble bath bourbon. <laughs> Hate to break like to y'all. Oh no. Oh. Hate to break to y'all, but we're all boomers according to the Zoomers. If you're over thirty, Dan's forty. So, <sighs> yeah. I'm Jerry Sears is still here. Apparently, I love that guy. What do you say? He likes me. Do you say he likes me? Do you say we're best friends? I don't know. Dude, we're starting a channel together. It's called the Bourbon Schmunkies. So, uh, come oh. <laughs> Sean he doesn't said, know that's about Fred it. Fred Savage. Yeah. Okay. So. Then just get more barrels. Yeah, I saw that. Get more barrels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we get into this? Yeah. Hey, a mate. Fuck. I forgot he said they were good. And then I, for some reason, my brain was like, they still aren't. Come well, they're foolproof. Out. Check. No, not even close. Joshua Thomas, love you guys. Can I get a name call out? My wife don't believe y'all are live. P.S. Sipping on the OF19. Schmunty. Dude, Joshua Shmunty. Thomas, let me tell you and your wife. This mm. is as live as it gets. It, unless you come to our OnlyFans.com slash You read junkies. it. <laughs> you write it. I'll read it. We'll do it live. Uh, Chris Allen. Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. Absolutely. Zachary That's Jones. fantastic. That's a good quote. You've never heard that? Zachary Jones, get the fuck out of chat. <laughs> get out. You've fuck ruined everything. Fuck goddamn mod. <laughs> Robert Negrete. Uh, you can email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com. Yeah. Bourbon schmunkies. I can watch that. Yeah, dude. It's me and Jeremy. smells good. It's Jeremy teaching me how to grow a beard. That's it. That's the whole channel. <laughs> a lot of... Have you been trying for the last, like, 15 years? Yeah, but years? he's got some um, things that he's got to inject in my... That's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made it so much more graphic. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Have you smelled... I thought you, you were 27, years? Dan. 40. I'm not 40. I'm <laughs> fucking 31. 41. I'm going to... You know what? It'll be an interesting stream one of these days. I come out here with a whole different head of hair. It's going to be <laughs> real interesting. Yeah. You get a fucking oh. wig, a little toupee action. No. I'm not losing my hair. Julie said we need a fire Sean shirt. Ah, it hurts my feelings. I really, I can make that happen. Oh, my God. you smell all the way through them yet? No. So you made up these dumb shit rules where we smell through them all <laughs> and then go in and then didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> hot. <laughs> They're He's hot. <laughs> that was in my mouth for a long time. <laughs> I did smell through them all. No, you didn't. I promise. The what do you smell was, like? The reason I was laughing was because <laughs> I was completely ignoring you, and you answered your own question as I started drinking one. Oh, oh. I don't know what that tastes. I have no clue what just happened. It's hot as shit. I bet. Red fruit zone. A lot of those. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, that is super caramel. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. I really did. Oh, can we talk about the Alec Bradley shirt situation? Can we talk about the response from that? It Alec Bradley hot. said they don't carry, they were going to get us shirts, and then they asked for our sizes, and Sean said his size, which isn't a small and it's not a large, so you can probably figure it out. <laughs> hey, an XL uh, kind of guy. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> and then Alec said his what was it? Who got back to him? I don't know. Their person. They're, yeah, their like inventory manager. Yeah, their inventory manager got, manager. Back to him, got back to him and said, "We don't run the baby gap. <laughs> this ain't care. baby gap. We don't care those <laughs> we sizes. We start at large. 
Wear your age with pride, Dan. 41. Ignore anyone who says oh, otherwise. Fuck. You've earned every gray hair, scar, and wrinkle. Who? Show you didn't fuck? survive, you thrive. Who invited Judo Cricket in here, dude? I'm telling you right now, we're going to start banning motherfuckers. What? He's saying. He's saying he said I head. have a lot of gray hair and wrinkles. I have no wrinkles yet, dude. I do have gray hair. You have a bunch of wrinkles. I don't have wrinkles anywhere. I shouldn't say anywhere. <laughs> I don't have any wrinkles. These aren't wrinkles like at a, in my RBF. There's no wrinkles, right? Now, if I like, I've got a lot of facial movement. I'm a very animated human being. There's wrinkles when I animate. Yeah, there are. Oh, okay. That is so fucking hot. Don't so retro hail the whiskey, Zachary Jones said. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, I wasn't prepared, and I don't know why, because we were given fair warning. Dude, that's fucking good. I like that good. I can set that on the edge right there. I it's like not naughty, but in my mind, what I was... What did you just say out loud? not nutty. It's super caramel. Okay. But in my mind, I was thinking Elijah Craig B520. There's a cookie cat. That's so loud. That... <laughs> <laughs> that's a talking animal. That's a talking animal. I just fed him. I know he's not hungry. Oh, my <laughs> God. You're wrong. Come on, dummy. Cookie's coming in, apparently. Coming in like a wrecking He's ball. He's coming out. He'll be on the table in a minute. I'm, oh, you'll see his butthole. Camera. Oh, there he is. Oh, just on Sean's Here's lap. Cook. Okay. Hey, bud. If so, you just chill, we'll be friends. Okay, you said naughty. What? You know that. You said you said nutty, right? Nutty. Everyone in chat, I looked at you like, what's wrong with you? Not naughty. I, I heard naughty. I said, what did you just say? You said naughty. Everybody in chat saying naughty, which is great. It's fantastic. Oh, uh, my bad. Okay. This smells. Oh, fuck. It smells like. Um, it smells like I'm getting shredded almost, by a baby panther. Almost like a pre-burnt marshmallow. You mean a marshmallow? No, dude. A I, toasted marshmallow. I'm, you know what? A what, pre-burnt what, the marshmallow next time, is a toasted marshmallow. You know, I'm going to give everybody a little continuity in the channel. Ow, ow, the next motherfucker. time we shoot, I'm going to bring out a bunch of different breads and toast in the phases of bread. Have, have a cat. I don't want this cat. He's so clawy right now. <laughs> Happy oh. 46th birthday, Dan. What fucking asshole said that? A lot of people said naughty. Who donated money? Jonathan Esker. You're an asshole. Cookie, <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you for the the cat roars. Change. He doesn't fucking meow. Art McCoy, successful refill. Okay, let's go. All right. Shut up. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I... Tell me to f- shut the fuck up. Whoa, that was like a cool jump. Isn't your Black Panther? A naughty marshmallow. <laughs> All right, on a beat. Okay, no, I'm not done with that. Did you drink it? Yeah. How was it? Three times. Delicious. Is Matt in chat? I need a lifeline. I'm a bread zombie. That's true. Edward Fulmer. He said I'm the fucking bread zombie, bitch. Are you on B? Mm-hmm. Ed tastes, Ed, red tastes like a red strawberry fruit roll-up. Red taste. And I like it a lot. Nope. I don't want you. You're a clawy he's, motherfucker. He's real clawy right now. <laughs> Listen, I get it. I know what you're him. saying, but like you got love earlier today. Oh. And f- you have What the fuck? All right, I just went into B off of A and just got permanent marker. <laughs> Bad set. <laughs> There's that hole. <laughs> I'm oh. assuming it was Cookie's asshole. It's gone. Okay. Oh. There's no permanent. No. Shut your mouth. I, it was something. Why don't you call Elijah Craig Makers 10 I think it's I. Cookie. I don't. Permanent marker on the outdoor yeah. cat, huh? That's just skin. That's straight skin. <laughs> He's just needing skin now. Yeah. If you lay down right there, people would be ecstatic. For Do real. It. Look at look, lay down. You're basically a dog. Oh, lay so down. Close. Lay down. You know what? I'll pet you right here. Dude, B is fucking spicy. What's up? B tastes like a Heaven Hill product. A little bit. It's got a little really? funk on it. Just a little. Maybe not. But there's a little funk that it's not like a it's not like a red cherry. There's something different about B. There's a, like a little waxiness in it's there. It's not classic bourbon. 
pub. I need There's to... something that's hitting, and I get that permanent marker note in the palate. It tastes like a peanut's ass. People are asking for a rash update now that we're on it through B. Plenty of it there. Plenty. You a rashy boy. Face, good. Uh, <laughs> Living in a license said syphilis looks to be clearing up nicely at least. Dude, I'm going to be honest, Fucking dude. Fucking I'm, I'm so deep into medication. Hi, bud. And it's still here. It's got to be in my blood. Look at look at that. Nobody on camera is going to be able to see that. I'm dying. You yeah. see this? This is in my wrist. It's a main artery. Yeah, hey, I'm normally your number one fan cook, but you are just shredding tonight. Okay, see. Brownie batter. Oh. This one smells the best so far. Almost a little... A little... I'm going to put you back outside. A little grassiness? I'm sorry, but you're like the worst listener ever. There you go. Could be slightly herbal. Oh, that's a good cookie. Cats if, love, if you cats love just, the old head boobs. If you just, look at, if you'll <laughs> lay down, if you'll just fucking lay. Liberty Ant License said, some kind of strange dead rodent smell in the finish for some reason. <laughs> No, Cookie's like a weirdly clean outdoor cat. It's very odd. No, no, all cats are. Uh, I've seen some pretty ragged outdoor ones, cats, yeah. yeah. Oh, do it. Do Cookie it. Cookie is very well-groomed for his life, but he does, like, sleep inside a lot, like in our garage and in here. He loves it in here when we put the cot out. He lays in the cot all day long. Mm-hmm. It's his favorite. The other day, he got a little sassy with Ooh. me. Cookie doesn't need his own chair. I need this. There. You stay down there now. God, I'm pretty sure my legs are bleeding. <laughs> he got me good a couple times there. He needed on bare skin for me, which is great. Yeah. Oh! He's back. Lenny's cat. I bought Cookie nope. a cat bed once, and he didn't. He used it literally one time. It was winter. He came in here. He used it in the winter, and I put it in front of the heater, let him, like, chill in there all the time. Oh, fuck me. Cookie does have thumbs. And then... Yeah, and those thumbs are very fucking sharp, too. He never used a cat bed again. Spent hey. like $30 on it. No, no. It was no, great. No, 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 no. Moved it to the garage. You go he slept next to it. Literally. Oh. I'm moving on to D. Hey, D's got a lot of... What? He hooked me good. D's got a lot of cinnamon on it. Yeah, dude. Whiskey register. Cheers, guys. I finally get to see you live. Thanks for being here. It smells... You need to put this motherfucking murder animal out. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his eyeballs. Why He's named Cookie? Uh, Holden walked outside one time and said, he looks like an Oreo. And we named him Cookie. So He didn't even have a name before we named him. Because he was the outdoor cat of the person who lived here. All right, buddy. You're going to go outside. There's his butthole. And hustle catch ya to be the boy. I hope he smacks Dude, you in the fucking what face. What if he just... Bam! Ah, fuck! <laughs> okay. Didn't want to be in here. Okay. All right. Okay. Whew. King Cook deserves a throne. Yeah, it's him drawing blood on a D. weekly basis. Cinnamon. It's uh big really red. Oaky. Yeah, dude, it's big red out the fucking ass. But a little bit of a little oak in the end. Must be a turkey product. What? Barrel proof turkey yeah. though. Oh, it's hot. Woo! I hit the back of my throat like a. It kind of has a Zinger. old leather shoe in there as well. You get a little coconut on the uh, finish. I'm going to be honest. I think A right now might be my favorite one. I like C, but it feels a little empty. It might be A for me too. Right now? Yeah. Like we haven't gone the other backwards yet? but I don't know. I really like D now. Ooh. Ooh. Why'd you steal all my water? You live next to the fridge. Sit next to and live next to are a little different. I want you to know that. They don't change anything in my life. Sex Panther. Did you just chug that? 60% of the time. (laughs) Works every time. Okay. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to go back. You, I feel gotta, good. I'm going to go back. back. I'm going to go back into D with a little water this time because I didn't have water between C and D. 
Looking forward to a BJ Cookie Barrel Pick. <sighs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like green wood in there, though. Is the oak. When you say green, you mean like... Mossy man, wood. so cinnamon Like it's though. mossy, yeah. There's so much cinnamon in that. What else is that cinnamony besides wild turkey? I don't know. Johnny Drum? That stuff's so... But that's not barrel proof. It's not a hitter either. No. But it's. But I'm thinking like what tastes like cinnamon. Wild turkey products. That's all I can think but of. But rare breed doesn't. No. Rare breed's usually not one we say cinnamon on. No. That's more stereotypical bourbon. Um, what? What's our go-to budget rye? Old Forester rye at the end. Yeah. Um, uh, games that match. You know, it's not a budget rye. What well, then rye? don't fucking say it. It's fair. Okay, fine. Budget rye, Emerald Giant would be up there for me, too. Okay, that's fair. Is that 35, 40? Depend, dude, if you're Bougie. in Chicago, 30. 29.99. Bougie. Hey, how much is Old Forester rye here? Um, 25? 26. 25. Right, whatever. Oh, just lit up a T52 with some Woodford Reserve Double O. I like yeah, how he damn. says that. I like how he says that, dude. Yeah, give this a try. Uh, yeah. You know what? When he, when he typed that, I could hear his voice say that. God damn. God yeah, damn. Yeah, damn. Oh, I like it. That Will it for me... your ride? Well, aren't you a bougie motherfucker? Talk to you on the phone, dude. Um, Will it for your eyes? Your... Must live somewhere down in Kentucky. What I was going to say is I am really, really enjoy the Sagamore double rye all of a sudden. I haven't, yeah. We, haven't we didn't of like the first we grabbed batch. We that, that apple, the Calvados. Yeah. Calvinanos. Calvinanos. Like Calvinanos. It killed fucking apples. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. see. <laughs> smells like Indian food and diapers. It smells like Bigfoot's dick. The nose on C, I'm a really big fan of. I Peerless think the red. The palate is a little bit empty. On which one? C. Oh, it's gotten fruity. Yeah. Fruit cocktail on the was. nose. That's interesting. I didn't get fruit cock. Yep. I didn't get that the first I time. I think I got more uh, earthy herbal tea stuff. So I was thinking this is like a Four Roses. That's good. Whatever that is, that's fantastic. The finish on that is good, dude. Do you say that's flat? Not this, it was the first, not, yeah, it was not this direction. This direction is really good. It's also our third one <clears throat> on the first way through. That's sure. It's, now it's, it's kind of delicate, but it's delicious. Red fruit, a little kind of bright flavor. I joined as a Patreon junkie on September 1st. How do I move up to the next level? Also, I'm drinking Elmer Tilia. Bought for 62. I'd buy Elmer at 62 every yeah. day of the week at this point. At T-Dub, South Strip, LV. Um, Michael Atkinson, sir. Um, basically, it allows you to bump up your tier if you so choose. I don't, I'm not sure I don't how know, to I don't know what tier it, you're at. But it yeah. does allow you to bump them. If you're, if you're at 15, you can't go up right now because they're all sold out. If you're at five ten, two five or ten, you can go up. Yep. So, uh, Alejandro Edward, Edward said he Fulmer. was perfect. He's uh, he said he's got coconut on the stag junior. That's power suggestion, right there. Nope, it's not. I've gotten coconut on stag junior once ever. Also, can I tell you something else that's really weird? Go ahead. In an advent calendar given to me. Yep. I got youth and grain on stag on junior. Stag junior. Swear to God, <clears throat> we'll I wrote it, it down. Like, that's how sure I was. I go, fuck, it's barrel proof. It's got to be ECBP. I get a weird fucking grain note on it. Thank you. Anyways. Um, wait, hold on. There was a thinger. There was a question. There was a thing. Oh, Alejandro said he was purposeful with the order of them. C is fantastic. Backwards. It is. Did you move to B? Oh, no, no. I just had no, another, I have, I had I another didn't drink either. of C. Okay. Have you guys tried Empire Haystack Needle? Bill Corey okay. had a bottle of it. It's empty. She's gone. I love it. Oh. It's one of my favorite store picks. I know it's expensive. It's one of my favorite store picks I've had in a while. I w- there are none in Michigan yet. That's what I'll say. I don't know what B is, but I just got that permanent marker, waxy. You said that the first way through, peanut. too. No. The permanent marker part. Yeah, it's like permanent markers and waxy peanut. Like, it's really fucking no, strong. Dude, it's not. It's super floral. It, it is super floral. Did you pour yours wrong probably like you always do? No. 
I mean, mine are still lit. Th- I mean, all the bottles are literally still in order from me pouring them down the line. <clears throat> I've, I've either I've got a bunk fucking. Let me smell yours. Okay. Well, I only get it when it sets there for a while. Is the issue? Okay, smell mine. But it, but it, you should be able to compare them. Yeah. You get the same idea. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll try that one. No, I Do- don't have a problem. Double check with mine. it. Um. This. I'm coming up with a new name. The Samurai. We'll double check. Here's the problem. Can I tell you the problem with Sam? What? Can I tell you the problem with Sam? <laughs> Go ahead. I like Daniel and Rex a lot. Yeah. And I don't want to detract from their what thing they have, at yeah. all. So I got to come up with a new word for Sam that means fucking amazing at whiskey. Right? That's my definition of what You're I am. You're an asshole. So that can't be it either because that's a negative term. <laughs> I need a positive oh. term. I'm going to come up with a new positive You're term. You're a fucking asshole. I got, I'm moving away from Sam. Okay. So they, I don't want to detract. I don't want to make it mean less for their thing. I like them. I like those two. So I'm going to come up with a new name. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to take some time, but it's going to be amazing. It's not going to be a certification. It's going to be a title in which you give people who are just badasses at tasting whiskey, a.k.a. probably me. I don't, I, have, I don't know about B. Did people watch me? Crush Jason hey. Calori on the fucking bu- the pub quiz. I think I, I murdered only Jason. Only had to do one A and B. Don't ignore this. Jason damn near died. I beat him so bad. Now, did I beat him in overtime with the last question? Complete luck? 100%. Did it was multiple guests, which is funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you messed with me and like, took it home. No, no, I said... Looked at Gabby and said, it had to be fucking multiple choice. There's no goddamn way Dan won. Oh, I still didn't win. I thought you won. No, no, I made it out of round one, buddy. Oh, I thought you Which won. Which for me, let's be real, that's winning. Oh, you didn't win? You know who I beat out to get to round two? Jason Calori. That's all that matters, dude. So you didn't Hell even yeah. fucking win? What? Who won? Oh, Lenny's cat said whiskey savant. And I am a... Huge fan of that word. What? Who won? Yeah. Um, Will and Sarah. Oh, okay. Whiskey Crusaders. Cheers. And you know what I said Two to them? them though. You know what I said to them? Cheers. Well, Matt was on a separate Dan, stream. They had three the of them. The Samurai wa- Warrior. <sighs> Dude, I, I got to figure out a different name than Sam. Because I don't want to. I just don't. Matt's back. He left us. What a dick. Yeah, no. All we do is celebrate him. For you could have just came back. Hours, we've only been talking about Matt. That's it. Yeah. So anyways. That's true. Don't watch the playback. <laughs> so it's like Cookie put a bunch of sand all over the table so the mouse don't work. That now. sounds actually pretty dang accurate. Sounds like a Cookie thing to do. Um. So Anyways. the last question. So I was losing. Yep. By a lot. Yep. If you got this question right, you moved on. If you got it wrong, you you were out. Mm-hmm. It's me, Jason, and Scott from Scott's Chess Dummies, and I love Scott to death. I had to beat him. Yeah, you too. had to put like the founding date of MGP or and whatever. And I asked the question like a fucking genius. Like a whiskey savant himself would do. We'll see if that sticks. I asked the question is are we talking when Seagram's owned it or when MGP owned it, right? Because Seagram's used to own MGP. I threw a little I threw a little I threw my own trivia as a question out there. I don't like the fact that you're tasting these and not listening to me. Mm-hmm. I can fucking tell too. Anyways. They said when Seagram's opened it, dude, do you want to know the best part? I need you to listen to this part when you're ready. You let me know. You go ahead. Okay, this is short part. This is the this is the TLDR. I wrote like 18 whatever I won. With you're that. giving me a TLDR in a 12 minute story. No, no, scoring? no. You you skip the first part. I'm yeah. giving you a TLDR now. I need you to listen to this Red, fucking white, part. And boosted. No one's sleeping on Sam Houston 14 anymore. Not anymore. Apparently, everyone's bought it up. Don't. It's our fault. If you are, don't. You're welcome. Curiosity Public in chat. What's going on? Check hey, out what's Curiosity up? Public. If you liked the Bourbon Guild, yeah. check out Curiosity Public because it Definitely might be dutching two of the other people from <laughs> the guild. So, check them out. So, listen. I need you to only hear this part. Just fucking give me 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you can completely ignore mm-hmm. me again. No, not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the real question, is Matt going to be the face of the BJ swordfish oil? Well, he can't. No, it's got to be an animal. Yeah. Matt doesn't take fish oil, and he also doesn't have strokes. And our fish oil is going to be Tren. Uh, Matt could know. take Tren. Matt used to be generous. Yeah, he did. Matt was on Tren. <laughs> <laughs> Saw pictures. Okay, listen. Oh, fucking That's Anthony McIver. You? You'd be a Cicerone. Listen, 
I wrote 18 whatever for MGP. Yep. I literally set it there, and I th- and we had 30 seconds. I moved the paper. I'm like, that's so fucking early. That whiskey wasn't even around in 1800s. This is literally the thought that threw it. I wish, I wish Jason was in my head for, or like could hear this. And then I moved the paper forward. I put another piece of paper in front of me. I wrote one, nine, and she goes, time's up. And I'm like, I guess it's 18, whatever. And I fucking won. <laughs> it's the greatest thing of all time. And then right before he left, I got to tell Jason. Oh, I saw that one. That's rude. I beat you. You know, you know what was great? After oh. Will and Sarah won, at the very end, we said cheers. And then I said to Will and Sarah, I go, just so everybody knows before we leave, you two cheated, and I love you both. And Daniel and Rex laughed, and then we all moved on. It was great. It's fantastic. Have you placed all yours already? Yeah. I haven't gone all the way back through them yet. That's where we're at. Curiosity Public just came in with a hot idea. Is it you actually doing a fucking whiskey war? Bottled and bombed fish oil. There's my order, Dan. Chip, chop, chip. Oh, my gosh, Curiosity Public. <sighs> Dude, that's such a good idea. We could do... Now, here's the thing. We come up with our own terms, right? So we do, like, bottled... I'm pretty sure you're going to get hella sued for that. We do, like, bottled and sword, right? One in any bottled and sword Didn't fish oil it. has at least 1% sword fish oil in it, right? And then 99% trend. trend. Yeah. No, that part's that's not FDA approved. That may be a little black market shit, but mm-hmm. nobody cares... Dude, the FDA doesn't give a fuck, right? Dude, Springer's got some hot fucking little lines and then says, I'm the BJ that swallowed. Listen, do you not? You are you can't be coming in here with your Damn pretty... Damn, let's keep people happy, you okay? You can't be coming in here with pretty shit and then telling me I saw that, okay? Okay. Why? Okay, Roger Brown, why am I always so angry? He's fucking so sitting next angry. to this goddamn motherfucker. Dude, there's 640 people sitting next to me right now. Ben Tablib. Ben? A Tablib. Tablib. He sent Blib. us one of the koshers. Thank yeah. you, sir. Uh, also, s- the rye recipe. Or no, the straight rye. Sorry. Glad you could fuck that up. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Shank. <laughs> Just sitting here. Would you uh, stop you think, talking? How do you think those do in the washer? Fine. Perfect. Because mine went in. You, uh, MGP fish oil. Matthew McNabb, got Calum at 14 today, getting ready to open, doesn't need to breathe. If you love cherries, it doesn't. If you do like cherries, don't say it's bad, because you like it. It's okay. No, no, no. It's not as good. If you didn't have Sam Houston 14, you'd be a big fan of Calum at 14. True. Right? Yeah, but you've had both, and you're a bigger fan than Ron. I was, Um, I I feel like I nailed that. You picked the guest team that picked vodka as fucking Desert Jewel. Right? And I love him, but that's the thing that happened, dude. Okay. Aaron Blizzard, Whiskey Tornado. Fair. That's the channel. Lance. And then um, Austin Hubbard started a channel for all of those who know him. Bourbon Santa. Bourbon Santa, he started indeed. A Trev Wilson's doing live streams. Pre-game Blue live wrench. streams. The Blue Hammer. Fuck a wrench. I'm so over people calling him the Blue Wrench. That motherfucker swings a hammer, dude. There are no wrenches involved anymore, dude. We're talking sledge, right? Like, we got to get over this wrench bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Zachary Jones. <laughs> Somebody fucking ban Zachary Jones. How about uh, Daniel? Daniel Penny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing reviews. Fuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, Ted. Sean's not angry. He just has to tend the lines of the hot air balloon that is Dan. So he didn't leave the Earth's atmosphere. That is such a good comment. Who said that? Ted Adams? Yeah. Dude, that is such a fair and you ranked yet? accurate comment. I'm in, dude. Here. I haven't I haven't tasted A again yet. I'll yell. And just fucking rank your shit. I don't need guesses. I just want you to rank it. Dude, I love A. Yeah. I love A. Yeah. Okay. A is a front runner at the moment. Quick, what What would pay? Is it worth 175 Oh, Shanks Bomberger. Uh, no. For both? Oh, for both I'd do 175 Yeah, that's not much above retail. This No, is it worth 175 per? He literally oh. said the word per. This well, is why you need me here. Sean yeah. can't fucking read. Because I speed read, and I just leave words off that I don't want to read. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I said, stop it, Dan. Just love me. 
Workbox is not convinced Sean isn't Dan's son, and no one denied it. That's fair. Oh. That's very fair. He's the size of my son. My son's five. So. <laughs> Nobody, literally nobody. Dan, FDA doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Dude, that, they don't. I'm gonna be honest. I've tr- I've had some pre workouts that should not be on the market. Oh yeah, when they had the fucking what was the shit that Jesse Norris used to take that was literally meth. crack. Yeah, it had meth. It had meth things in it. Yeah, they banned it, and he was like, "I got six cases of it." Yeah, it he bought a pallet before yeah. it went uh, not so illegal. Holy shit! Um, it was like the old jacked. Jack 3D or whatever this mm-hmm. shit was that also had meth in it. Okay. C right now is not doing well. Uh-huh. I went back that way again. Okay. I'll leave her there for a mm. sec. That's funny. I wonder if B is bookers. Man. Someone says A is bookers. There's not a chance. I'm B, really is, B I would think would be bookers. A is, there's no chance in fucking hell A is bookers. B's got to be bookers. But. I'm, you know what? I'm more interested to find out what D is at this point because of all the cinnamon on it. So much cinnamon. Yeah, it's super cinnamon. Um, See, Dutch knows. Dutch says Jack 3D was amazing. Dude, fuck D- yeah. Jack yeah, 3D but you also, one. yeah, you could take that right to the dome. And you could get chase an addiction. Chase water. <laughs> and then you know what you did? You ran through fucking tanks. And you could lose your teeth. Well, all at the same time. Oh, we had a buddy that was in the uh, maybe the U.S. Schmarmy, and uh, they used to take that all the time when they'd go under or out the white or whatever they Why fucking not? call it. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Amped. Fuck Jack 3D. <laughs> the fucking, especially special ops, give those motherfuckers. Crack 3D. <laughs> all the, dude, give those fuckers all the steroids we can Holy fucking shit. find. Holy shit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, Nancy Fraley is in what? the chat. Don't say her name. You will mess it up. Chris Farley. <laughs> Nancy Fraley. Who at some point we're going to do a live stream with. I can't wait. I think you mean Whiskey Blender Fraley. I just know her first name. We're on a first name basis. She calls me Dan. I call her Nance. We're good. So. <laughs> Nance. <laughs> okay. I got you my turned brain. her into an 80-year-old woman instantly. Nance isn't older than Nancy. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah. You called her the NFL last time we talked? <laughs> Let's not fucking have this conversation. Bottled in pond fish oil. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Matthew Pillsbury, another regional age stated product, HH Green Label, is staying, they said. Matt, thank you for the 101. This hey, actually, I like that a lot, actually. This would actually be a good blind for a sub-20. I would guarantee that shit stomps its way through uh, well. under, like, 25, you call it. No. Under 25. There's two old forcers in there. Mm. There's early times. I've named three off the top of my head. Early that times would crush is that. 26, good sir. No, it's not. Early yeah. times, Bottled and Bond for a fucking leader is twenty two ninety nine. No, it's not. I I will bet you. It's twenty four ninety nine dollars plus in tax. My eyeballs. No. It, I will bet you a case of early times on this stream, man up. Man the fuck up. Is your shit placed? Yes. Is it? Yes. Okay. Man up and What's bet last? Me. Bet me one bottle of early times on the pricing. No. Oh, you're real unconfident right now. What did Fred say? I'm looking for Fred now. Answers were in separate papers. Ah, uh, they're right there, buddy. Thank you, Alejandro. Fred, Sean's proving himself wrong right yep. now about uh, early times pricing. He gets it wrong every. It's a weird thing, and I don't know why. It's his favorite. Twenty four ninety nine. Okay, show me. Show me with my eyeballs. And <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Let me show you with your eyeballs. What? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's twenty two ninety nine. Also, what? Are, yeah, dude, isn't that crazy? All right, under it's twenty. Wild, yeah. Under 20. It, it's got to be an under yeah. twenty. Is a hard cut. Okay, what are we looking I, for? I think I make Old it more since my head say let's buy less. <laughs> That's fair because there's a lot locally yeah. right now. Uh, cases. Yeah, Russell. Um, we want to do. We're looking for Old Forcer one fifty right now. We're looking for each other oh, barrel man, proof twenty twenty. What else are we looking for release wise right now? Someone was talking the uh, like the Mickers toasted stuff. Is that out? Of, is that out? Yeah. That that would be f- yeah. We're looking for. We probably won't ever see the Mickers toasted because that won't come to Michigan. No. I don't know if I don't know where the OF one fifty is going yet. The King no of Kentucky way. is released outside of Kentucky this year. Yeah, first time. That'll be like the biggest thing of the year. Yep. Especially based on the bottle we had from OF last year. BB twenty was one we were looking for. Found Found track that, that down. Thankfully, thankfully, thank thank you, Sir Klein. Okay. And then, uh, so basically, any BTAC. Yeah. 
Hold on. Bourbon Junkies. This is from ADHD Whiskey. Old school white flood from controlled labs made me feel like I was eight feet tall and could guillotine choke a grizzly bear after doing world's strongest man. Love that stuff. Well, that definitely has fucking steroids in it. So Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Trend was actually the second fucking ingredient. I just wanted to make Adivar sure. was the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of peptides in there, apparently. <laughs> okay. Let's, it's the 150 out. I don't no. know yet. Dude, Michael Atkinson's looking for a Bourbon Junkies ashtray. Uh, oh, I yeah. I may uh, or may not have talked to a certain somebody on the phone maybe yesterday or two days ago about it. We'll figure something out. We'll see. Uh, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof would be another one. I said that. Did you? You said it. Just be honest here. Dan Elson, I, I told you I got the M-Toasted D-U-N done. Damn, dude. Thank you, buddy. What's know, your last you place? You also sent us shanks and bomb burgers. Yeah. Okay, what? What's your last place? C. Uh, B is mine. C is my third. So, can you go? Can we do it this way instead? You what? do it the worst fucking way. What? Go through your order last to first, please. Last B, definitely Booker's. Okay. C, third. D, second. A, first. So, I'm, I put B second. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, then I want to open this. Okay. This is my last. Oh. C, last. Yep. D, third. B, second. A, first. Well, you done fucked this up. Go ahead. Doesn't really Now I have to open B. Okay. C. C. Third La- for me. Second for you. Last for me. I thought was uh, fucking... Oh, this is a big bottle. We've never had it before. Oh, what is it? Lux Road Distillers 12-year double barrel. I thought it was a Four Roses. 118 proof. I don't know where Lux Road Source is from. Could You may not be wrong. Not um, sure. Maybe Heaven Hill. Because it's got that, like, earthy, like, tea it does shit have in there. And that's different. why I thought it was that. You, can, well, hold on real quick before you open that. How weird is it? This way? I said before you... Richie Z, we hit 700 and change tonight, <laughs> buddy. Thanks for being here. Just got my cigar torches and cutters are awesome. My clan is awesome. Perfect. I'm A-OK with being fucking wrong on this, but I'm so happy where this landed for me. Nancy wants to know what D was. Which one did you open? Uh, B. B was my second place. What Booker's is it? Bland straight from the barrel. You said it was Booker's. It tastes like shit. You have I've the always worst said I palate fucking of hate all time. Straight from the barrel. Buddy. And it lives true. You put it second, you fucking fake person. Because they're single barrel. Whatever. They're so they're all different. None of them are good. So they're all different. <laughs> it's weird to me. I'm yet to have After a good one. After you said Booker's, I had to go back and be like, no way. And Dude, I went it back. It smells like permanent markers. It smells like that uh, La Mason Dude whiskey, the one that we had. No. That was fucking awful. No, that thing was rancid. I hate that. Look how you much it, this mine last. is last. left. You put this last? Yeah. Can I drink this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I um, don't okay. like that one. So my second place was a Blanton straight from the barrel. My last was Luxrell. So... So far, what do we have uncovered for your stuff? Uh, we opened B and C. Your last was straight last from the Last and third, yeah. And your third was Luxro. Luxro. Okay. So D, D was is third. my second. I might have ripped it. Dude, I have yet to find a straight from the barrel that I like. So I stand it by it so fucking much that's to the say first that one. do not look for them. That's I don't the f- think they're good. That's the, fir- that's the first one I really like. Okay. So I called A as weather foolproof off the nose. So we'll find out how <laughs> we'll find out how so this feeling goes. Confident, yeah. is feeling how it goes. Okay. D for you I is don't what think place? Uh second actually. D for me is third place. Cinnamon bomb. Cinnamon bomb, we agree. What it be? Holy shit, that makes so much sense now. What is it? Will it purple top seven year parking oh. lot razzle pick? It's I like that's that a lot. That weird ass fucking that's what it yeah. is. It's okay. got that weird family estate boutique fucking a little little dustiness in there. That's dude, it's got that fucking will it funk on it. That's so interesting. It is a cinnamon schmam, dude. Hey, first place for both. We really, really like this one. Is this We've the had only it thing we agreed on? Yeah. In the whole flight. Yeah. William Heaven Hill twelve year. Every time. Dude, we've had we had that. Wait, bo- no. Yeah. That's the purple one. That's not the new one. No, no, no. no. Okay. The new one's 13 okay. year, I do believe. Okay. The 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 12 year is the one that's like purple and gold. Okay. That they released like two The new one's red. 2 years ago. Yep. And I think they did 
the 12 year, then the 16 year, and now the 13 year is the red one. Because we had the 12 and the 16 when we went to Jason's. Sure. And we really, really said that the fucking, um, the 12 year beat the brakes off the 16 year. 100%. And this is, you know, after we tasted it through, I think I called this Elijah Craig, though. I'm going to be honest. No, you didn't. I'm going to be honest. I, I won. This, this wasn't even close. Did they call it B520? No. Yeah. He said hitters. You think B520 was in here? I thought he'd trip us up. This Whiskey War, A, was far and above first mm. for me. Was A far and above first for you? Oh, yeah. So. I really like the Willet. Really? Yeah. Too much cinnamon for me. It's funky. There's something. It's, it's funky. In there that Boutique, I like. dude. Yeah. It's just a term now. VOSN 17 fake story of it being Pappy from the 80s. Um, VOSN is very old St. Nick, by the way. Yeah. Or legit, and or it's not. I no. have no idea. Nope. They they so the backstory on this. I don't know if you know the backstory. The backstory. Alejandro is, also said correct purple gold label. So the backstory he on also the VOSN said called alleged Craig B520 at the beginning. Thank you. No, he said I did. No, I'm pretty sure it said Sean called. He called it Weller Filter. Don't I did off the that. nose. Those are very different. Yeah, they are. They're very Wildly different. different. Okay. But I also have it in my mind because I've been playing with that sample over the other day. That wasn't, B, that wasn't B520. It's not. But I said Weller Full Proof is why. Oh, okay. I yeah. see what you're saying. Off the nose, it's like super um, like, bright, Nancy vibrant. Nancy asked which Willet it was. It was... Delicious. Willet Family Estate Purple Top, obviously. Bourbon, seven-year, 125 proof. Barrel, 2015. Parking lot Razzle Pick was the name of it. When we had that uh, WHH 12 the first time, I think we were, it blew our socks off. And we were like, damn, that's really, it's really fucking good. good. And it stands up that that's super good. And it still stands to me that straight from the barrel, super bad. Well, so here's, I will say the straight from the barrels, everyone we've had are off profile of a mash bill 2. 100%. Specifically mash bill 2. I think... Actually, I'd say mash bill one or two. I'd if I smelled say. it like five times and got rid of that like burnt eraser, go in. Like it gets fucking weird for me. You know what it smells it's like? It's the first note. I get it now. It's the first nose every time, and then my uh, nose instantly acclimates to it where you're like, oh, all right, and then you get past it. It's like smelling scotch for a while. You, you smell scotch, you get past that smoky, the peatness, yeah. and then you get into the actual nose. But the first one is so just hits you. know what you. it is? <clears throat> Bad. It's got a funk yeah. that, like, a weird-ass band aid Eagle Rare would have on it. Okay. A store pick. And I don't like those. And, like, the, the off-profile Buffalo Trace shit for you, any off... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Any off-profile Buffalo Trace shit you've had, you haven't liked. No. Any off-profile. Off um, I've grown to appreciate them a little bit more. What? Uh, so like, uh, Eagle Rare 17 has got that meaty, funky note. But that's just, that's, I don't think that's off profile. That's really good. Okay. But that Eagle Rare is not like I call that funky, off profile. right? Yeah. But it's not funky. It's it like is. fatty. It's really yeah. rich. Yeah. It's oily. This is like fucking. Band-Aid. Funky, dude. Yeah. It's more like, this is more like a Band-Aid, I think. Okay. okay. The very old St. Nick story is they bottled in really small bottles a specific amount, like a really small amount of whiskey. Yeah. And then, I don't give a fuck. And then, um, something that stands up to barrel proof, preferably. And something well, that's, about something that's not like an hour, nope. No, no, that's right. Oh, okay. Ain't no bitch. I mean, Actually, you know. Actually, this is, uh, what I have for this stuff today. I'm gonna find this real quick. It is the worst. Is Sean a hipster? Yes. Um. What's that? What? So, we don't like our straight from the barrel at all, which is interesting. I like how Sean opened my fucking Coolador to get me a cigar. Like, he's got a whole Coolador with 200 cigars in it. And he opens mine. Like, I don't have enough. So yours is looking a little empty, dude. You put all your at-home cigars in there? Yeah, I did. Well, I got a lot of yours in mine, too, actually, right now. So anyways, <laughs> for real. <laughs> the very old St. Nick, they bottled a bunch of shit at the distillery recently under the 17 label in the smaller bottles of 375s. And they called them Stitzel Wellers. They said it was Stitzel Weller juice. I don't know if that's true. I know that they were sold out immediately. I know they went for a lot on secondary. I don't. I know very old St. Nick kicked her kicked off the whole brand line with insane bottles. 
And I know since then there's been no transparency and they've been continuing along the lines of like, we're still doing this crazy stuff with this really old cool whiskey that nobody's had before or, or people haven't had in a long time. It's really hard to get, but nobody knows that's too big. I want something smaller, but it's like, nobody knows what it actually is. That's, that's way too big. Dude, give me like a small, like a, like a Rona. That's not a Rona. That's a fucking Toro or some shit. Like, no, that, that's short. It's not a Corona. Okay, you're being a real bitch right now. I don't want a two hour cigar. That is going to be a 45 minute. <sighs> what do we got going on here? You being a bitch. Bubble Bath Bourbon said, I want some Malort so bad. I love Aquavit. I haven't smoked that, dude. Have you? I can't. Neither of us have smoked those. Think of like something, dude, like the, something like my Drew Estelle's. I don't have any of those. Well, you just opened mine. I tried to do that and you bitched. That's their deal with secrecy, Dan all said. Um, we've had some, Alejandro, thank you for the flight, buddy. Um, we're going to actually, what I'm going to pour with the cigar. Dude, hey, grab me one of those uh, AJ Man of Wars. Do that. Because the they're dark as shit. They're in one of the actual Tupperdoors. There's like 30 of them, so you can't miss them. You want to miss No, I want one of the Drew's, the Man of Wars. They're really dark wrappers with a fucking black fucking wrap band on it. There's 30 of them in something. There's a bunch. You can't, there's so many. You'd see them on top. They're fucking immediate. Oh, is there a gatekeeper? You find a gatekeeper Corona? We have those in Coronas, actually. Who just said that? Somebody said that in chat. That was a fucking problem, dude. Are you sure it's in a Tupperware? Buddy, I'm so sure it hurts my feeling if I'm so sure. Aiden, <laughs> Aiden Craig said, he's too big for like a divorce couple. Dude, That's kind of the point, though. We just don't live together anymore. We used to. They're literally not on top. No, bud, there's three of those little tuppadors in there. Yeah, okay. There's one, there's two, there's three. I see a bunch of Drew Estates. You come sit your dumb ass down and I'll find them. Okay. I'll, you know what? I'm going to watch Give me one you. second. It's going to take me about 30 seconds. I'm going to watch him look on top. That's weird. He's looking. He's still looking. Still looking. Oh, he's digging to the bottom. I'm not digging to the bottom. Look, he's got his raccoon paws out right now. Just... Oh, it's on the fucking bottom of a Tupperdor that stacked four fucking cigars high. <laughs> you are being an asshole. Oh, I hate you. Okay. okay, so this is what it's like. You gonna turn that light off? Fuck. Did you turn it on? Yeah. Then fuck <laughs> you. Did you miss A? Yes, you did. It was uh, William Heaven Hill, 12 years. Can I tell you the best part Distillery about this? only, deliciousness. Can I tell you about the best part about this? You forgot the lighters, the fucking nope. ashtrays. No, I didn't. It's right there. Also, didn't find a man of war. <laughs> okay. Did find a gatekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find a man of war. That's fast weird. Enough. Couldn't find one. Okay. I was like, wow, well, he did find that pretty quick. Nope, I didn't. I uh, found a gatekeeper and thought, that's exactly perfect. So, so I'm going to go with this Gigglamesh in this nice dark... Deliciousness. Ooh. Smell that. <gasps> Where'd you get this? Out of my fucking cooler. This is mine now. You were about to eat the whole fucking thing <laughs> as I just smelled. It is yours, and you can't get it out. Okay. Somebody asked if it was a it was a blessing or a curse that the channel has exploded, which I'm going to put in quotation marks. Listen, the channel's it's doing really fun. well, and it's fucking fantastic, man. It's all good yeah. news. It's all good things. The fam's doing well. People in the fam are fucking doing well, dude. That's what it's all about. Listen, everybody fucking crushing shit. That was interesting. That. Okay. You pass that to me? So, look at that, dude. Fucking Rona. A, a little yeah, Rona Yeah, Springer, cigar. 1981, said, What about the Blade and Bow? Claims contains some of the very last sticks of Weller juice. Does that mean one drop per barrel or bottle? Yep. Yeah, because they Solera age it. So we'll always keep some of that in there, and it will get diluted down to literally ppm. And they'll be like, "Well, we can still call so that's it part that's per there for those that want to be scientists. because it's there." Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just no. I'm a scientist. I was just explaining it to everybody. Are you? The scientist was explaining it. Okay. Um, 
I haven't had a gatekeeper in so long, and that was such a good idea. Grant Dude. Hardwick said, Sean, that is a great stick. Smoke that with the Weller Full Proof. Okay. I'm going to smoke this with the Garrison Cowboy. So, um, Matthew McColche, McColha, McCauley, something. Thanks, F words, smoking indoors, this is the best. Well, we have we a, have that ventilation. Oh, I got up there the other day. How was it? It's not blocked. I took was it, it apart. I literally took it apart. Everything's good. Also, air out there. Fine. Pushing tons of air out there. Hmm. I don't. Know we must what had was a weird on. cross draw coming in that was like not letting it go out. Yeah. That's all I can imagine. Oof. Um, because we had uh, a giggle mesh in like a Connecticut wrapper, in one of the the Lux boxes. I do believe Alex. You know where sent, that's from? Alex sent this. No. Or did Grant send this? Nope. Where did this come from? Try one more time. Big name. Uh, he's got two YouTube channels. One's bigger than ours. One's not. Cheers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Apparently Jeremy sent us these. <laughs> Jeremy did. Okay. It's Jeremy. God, I hate you. Um. So yeah, he sent us this one. Apparently. Mm-hmm. He. I, so I keep forgetting this is in there. Do you want the full story? Yeah, go ahead. We got the Gigglemesh. Gigglemesh makes two wrappers in that cigar. We got the Gigglemesh, the lighter wrapper from the Luxury Cigar Club box. Yeah, which was good. Um, Jeremy Fantastic. did a video on Gigglemesh stuff specifically. So he got two boxes, one of each wrapper. Those, that's a Maduro wrapper right there. Jeremy sent a couple of Maduro wrappers over so we could try those because we really like the Gigglemesh. The other ones a lot, so... That happens to be the Maduro wrapper. Both of those <laughs> Christopher Hart nasty. said, how much to do a bump of Coke off Eagle Raider store pick? Well, I would have to know where to buy Coke first, and then B, I would have to be able to quit my job, so a lot of zeros. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd have to have the time to just do a little cocaine and not worry about it. All right, let's do the giveaway. Oh, it's 11.07. Daniel Penne was right. Fuck. Okay. We got that ripping it. This is Texas riff whiskey. One or two. It's actually not oh. bad. Maybe bump it up one. That's a lot of button pushes there, bud. Is that two? That's two. Okay. Well, what happened is um, I went for it, and it, like, triple clicked with one. It was like, okay. So that's three. I haven't had a gatekeeper in a long time. That's good. I had one the other night. I enjoyed it. I that. had a, a gatekeeper. Again recently, and then another Tempest Natural again. Okay. And I remember why I like them so much. Yeah. Yeah. Tempest are oh. ju- Did you smush it? Oh, I made it throw. Okay. How many giveaways? We have three. Something about that. We Grant had, was doing one. We had our mystery box. Our mystery box. Grant's bottle and who cigars. Else, who else threw something in? Kevin to bear. Kevin to bear. Thank we're gonna you. do three giveaways. Email us at bourbonjunk at gmail.com if you won one of the giveaways. I'm gonna we're gonna scroll through all of the things. Okay. So I've got this. Look at so you can confirm this is in scroll mode. Yep. All right. The mouse is in scroll mode. I'm gonna scroll the first one, Sean will scroll the second one, I'll scroll the third one. Here, wait, wait, you just scroll it and I'll tell you to stop. How about that? Stop. Zachary Hess. Zachary Hess wins the mystery box from us. There you go. We need bourbon. Email us at bourbon junket. He email. knows our email. We, got a, we need your address, probably. I don't even know if we do, but email us and tell us what you won and give us your address so I don't have to think as much and I could just send you things. You ready? Yep. All right. Stop. Liberty Not License. There you go. Wins the second giveaway from Grant Hartwig a bottle and some cigars. Did he ever say what bottle it was? <laughs> I don't know if he did. It was two. Oh, no, Grant said he hadn't figured it out yet. Okay. He sure. said he'd give away a bottle in some AB stogies. Okay. Uh, but he had not had not figured out what it was going to be yet. Okay, ready? Last yep. one. Kevin to bear. Samples. Stop. Neil Solomon. There you go. There you go. Thank you That's guys. our very not scientific way That's to. That's a pretty like, scientific it's, way it was of not doing bad. that, man. I feel like that was really random. Yeah. That's very random. For sure random. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get into the Garrison Cowboys. Thank you, everybody, for the Super Chats tonight. Thank you for the support and love. Yeah. Everyone, thanks for being here. We hit some new record. We got to celebrate Matt. Got to embarrass Dan. If you didn't see the video at the beginning, of the, it was like 15 minutes into the live stream, 20 minutes in. There was a video that played somewhere in there. You should go watch it. 
If you're here now and had you weren't then. 42 strokes tonight. Sean had more. Uh, you know I might what? have. We broke some records tonight. I probably. I don't I, think I had more. I had single digits. I No, you didn't. Tonight? Yeah. Yeah, single digits. You tried to. The people would you, you try to say fucking something about a Glenn that you just kept? Yeah. You said it wrong four times in a row. Yeah, that's true. But those were almost the only four I had. So. Yeah. We almost have 500 likes. We need oh. 35 more likes. If you have not liked this video, we Please can get do. to 500 likes, which would be amazing. That would be super helpful. Uh, Christopher, I'm sure I missed a video on this, but I see Owen Powell's whiskey from BSM on the top shelf. Half dreamt. Super eager to hear what your thoughts are. Whiskey from BSM. Bourbon Secondary Market? Is that Fern Creek? I don't know what that is. Okay, elaborate. Definitely tag us in that. Is that uh, the Fern Creek? Are you talking about the Fern Creek? Okay. Hey, also, it's no, no, no. It's not over. Juliel, it's not over. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just kind of. We're just chilling. We're, we're winding just, down. This is the wind down. We do the giveaway, so if people want to get out of here, they don't feel like they have to stay for this part. Yeah. But we get it. Not everyone wants to fucking sit here for nine hours with us. Um, Hold on. Real quick, I want to talk about something Friday. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody here. We'll be Friday. Uh, if you're on into Facebook. cigars and us, we're going to be hanging out with Cigar Dojo. But here's the thing we're going to be talking about whiskey. It's from Creek. Oh, damn. I'm good at this game, huh? So, anyways, we're going to be talking about whiskey on DJ. On DJ BK? DJ Khaled. Hit him with another one. <laughs> so. Nope. Try again. Cigar Dojo. Their Facebook page. We'll be live with them yes. Friday night, 9 p.m., hanging out, talking cigars Eastern. and whiskey. 9 p.m. Eastern. Having a good time. Yeah. yeah sorry. Please, normal please. normal time for us is just Eastern. So. Yeah. So come hang out on Cigar Dojo's live stream. I'd love to have a really hey, good. thanks, everyone, for it. Like really them. high, like, live stream concurrent for him. Yeah. It'd be super cool to show the Bring fam. Him. Yeah. Coming over, following, helping out, and supporting us being over on his, his platform. Yeah, hit it's this not energy. Our platform. So. Um, what did I do, Roger? He's very mad. I don't know what I did. If we can get people to come over there and watch, we're just going to be hanging out. He already sent us some things to talk about. It's all bourbon-based, basically. We're going to be smoking cigars. We'll talk about cigars a little bit, but he's got some questions he wants to ask us about bourbon. Dude. A lot of them are, like, list-type questions. So if you guys are looking for list top three, X, X, top three this bourbon and that bourbon, Come hang out Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern on Cigar Dojo's Facebook. I'm going to be posting it on Instagram. I'll be posting it the Facebook group, Patreon. I literally will post it everywhere you can possibly follow. Yeah. Uh, Doc, Scout, how was the Virgin? It wasn't bad, actually. Um, we both liked it for the price point. I think I gave it for a B+. 15, plus. You gave it a B? Yeah. For 15, it's good. Uh, Nancy still in uh, the house. Say hi to Cigar Dojo for me. We will. I'm going to say hi. Yeah. And then he'll be like, you guys got to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jay Stu, for Sean and taking the time to answer my question about Dan's ability to pick out which barrel brought the extra oak tannin to the Elijah Craig toasted. He had answered, or he'd asked on Facebook, or Facebook, on YouTube, and said, how do you know it's the second barrel that mm. adds that astringency? Okay. And I said, well, oh, because well, he asked it to you. And I said, I'll answer for Dan. Mm. I know. Um, you know it's the second barrel because normal uh, small batch doesn't have that. Uh, astringency. Yeah, it's of, an addition to yeah, the flavor profile. Yeah, so it's something that's brought on definitely from the second barreling. It's so, um, think about it like this. Go and pick up uh, like Old Forester 1870, which is 90 proof, right? Mm -hmm. And then go and pick up Old Forester 1910, which is 93 proof. So you're talking three proof difference. Yeah. So it's, the proof isn't going to add that, like the whole characteristic of the whiskey being different. When you get into 1910... That's a whole new world, dude. Yeah, it's that's a, some Aladdin shit. Literally, compared to I 1870, can show you, dude. I'm telling you, 1870s garbage compared to 1910. <laughs> compared to 1910, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Now, I like that people call, dude. Daniel Penny needs a fucking promotion. Oh my god, mute that motherfucker! Wait, hold on. Looking for a recommendation coming from a rum spiced rum background. Looking for a sweet sweet oh. bottle. Good amount of baking spice of rum. Are you willing Four to spend a bunch of money? No, no, he's looking for whiskey. That's rum finished. Blood oath. Pack five. It's sick. Five. Whatever. I think it's five. There's a rum finished blood oath that's really good. Six was cognac, but it's also a hundred dollars. Yeah, that'd be six the was cognac. So I think it was five. 
<laughs> Roger Brown said cigars and whiskey go together like lamb and tuna. <laughs> Do those go together? <laughs> I, I guess. Red, white, and boosted. Can we get a peanut butter whiskey war? So many choices recently that came to market. Tons in Texas when I was there. Can I tell you what I've been trying to find for you to surprise you? And I haven't found it yet, so I'm not going to. It might not be a surprise. Okay. Jack Daniels came out with a seltzer, a whiskey seltzer. I've been trying for two weeks to get said whiskey seltzer up here and be like, we got to shoot a review. And then when you get here, we I'm going to start the camera and drop it on the table. Dude. Couldn't find it. Though. One of my favorite ever, like, opens that we did with Sweetens Co. And the fucking audio went to shit. Because oh, I looked at you and was like, hey. The facial reaction said I was like, hey, that is going to die. You're like, nah, it's real quick. We'll just shoot it. I wish people Instantly heard that fucking part, too. <laughs> Instantly fucking died. And I'm sitting here in the corner smoking a cigar, fucking shoes off, feet Dude, propped it was up. A day after There's a just a fucking This is a disaster. <laughs> this looks like this. Yeah. It is a fucking disaster. And you're just like, all right, we're going to shoot it. I'm like, I guess. Dude, Sean pulls it out of the bag. The best part, the best part. The, I got a hitter bottle for The us. part that nobody knew was, I told Sean. I go, oh, you said big boy I got bottle. A, I'd never said hitter. I would big never say bottle. hitter because I knew where it was going. But I did say we had a a, a big boy oh, bottle because it's 200 never, bucks. We never said anything. What? Uh, other than Blood Oath. So he said Belvini, Belvini Caribbean cask. Is that the 14? Jeremy year? Sears said that. Belvini, that's a is scotch. That the fir- yeah, I right? think it's the Belvini 14, though, is uh, the rum cask. Yeah, one. it's over there on the shelf. It's okay. fantastic. I don't know if it's rummy, if that's what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. It is sweet, though. If you want something real you, sweet, do the uh, the uh, Angel's Envy Rye. Holy shit, that's too much. Dude. <laughs> you want something sweet? That's too much. It's 100 bucks, and Man, you know what? Honestly, on a nice day with a little ice in it, it's probably fantastic. Rob R. said the same thing. Angel's Envy finished rye is yeah. splendid. Spendy, but it's delicious. Yeah, dude, it is. Whew. Oh, apparently, uh, oh, we missed I saw Nancy. It. I have a question for her. Okay, gents, I'm signing off for the night. I've been driving for most of the day, and I'm going to have some dinner and more bourbon. Cheers, Nancy. Nancy, thank you for being being here. Real quick, if you're still in here, by chance. Um, If you're waiting on us, I'm sorry. I might have missed an email. If you're not waiting on us, no worries. But if you are waiting on us, please shoot me an email. I will look through it tomorrow. But at some point, we're going to hang out with Nancy on here. Yeah. I apologize for Sean after our last stream. She said, listen, I know what I'm getting into. Nancy's on board. Also, Nancy sounds like she's Team Dan. I don't know. I don't want to put words in her mouth. She sounds like she's Team hey, Dan. It is the Belvini 14. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, you know what I would really like to try is uh, the Double Wood. The 17, though? Uh, the one you Levi got for has Levi? It. Yeah. Fantastic. So you keep saying it's fantastic. I keep seeing 12, it. Well, because it's 12 and 17. They're yeah. two Double Woods. Yeah. But I want to try the 17. 17's 17. like 150, though. Yeah, it's that's exactly why I haven't tried yeah. it. It's yep. Damn fucking fantastic. You want to know what the problem with that is? Lagavulin 12 cask strength <laughs> is 140. And the Belvini double wood at like 90 proof That's or 84 gal. proof. Yeah. Fucking 150. That I'm going to be completely honest secretly just between you and me with nobody watching. Mm-hmm. I'm so into really heavily peated barrel proofs right now. Mm hmm. I've been drinking Lagavulin in 12 like it was 20 bucks a okay. bottle. Old Forster Statesman versus 1910. Are you serious? It's going to be 1910. We like Old Forster Statesman yeah. a lot more than we used to. Um, I think we shit on it. Then we blinded it and figured out there's a lot of proof in blinds sure. um, to the fact that it scored, I think, like third in our Statesman? first. Statesman? Yeah. Yeah, it did well. I think it was like third in our first Old Forster yeah. blind lineup. Yeah. Um, but for the same money, it, I mean, I think it's fifty bucks. I'd rather grab nineteen twenty for ten more. Well, nineteen ten's like fifty. Fifty, but I'd take nineteen ten over yeah. Statesman. Um, but they're different worlds. Statesman did a really cool thing for Old Forester, and nobody knows that backstory. So peanut butter is red, white, and boost. Hold on, scroll up real quick. Uh, Nancy said, "Yeah, we're still gonna." Okay, Nancy, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying if you're waiting on us, let me know. We're sorry if we're waiting on you. No worries. I know you're busy. There's a lot going on. Don't worry about it. So, so oh. are you saying? Wait, red, white, and booster. Are you saying like peanut he's, no, buttery no, he's saying, whiskey? So we doing that war? That's what he's saying. Yeah. Like so you doing the screwball war? It's basically yeah, yeah. So is it war. like actual like fucking peanut butter yeah. flavored whiskey? Yeah. Ugh. You've had you know screwball. Yeah, it's not bad. Screwball's the big one. Yeah. So after screwball came out, there's more. Screwball was so successful. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Everybody I thought made he just meant like peanut butter, like, peanut butter no, 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 like no, no, no. type with like old dude, era seven. No, I think like peanut butter. Yeah. No. Okay. Dude, there is this one that looks like a circus logo. It's got the red and white curtain on the front. No, nope, Paul Anderson. I always have to catch a live stream, even if I'm late. Just wanted to show support. You guys are great. Hey, thanks for being here. You didn't have to, but we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. See, Michael. Mariano. I said Statesman's Fire. Statesman it, might be the most underrated old Forrester product. For sure. No one talks about it. No, a lot of people hate it. Yeah. Bullshit. Because they it, they think it's gimmicky. Because you know it, it was is. made for a movie. No, it is gimmicky. Yeah. It's hey, good, though. They still listen, make good products. Th- this is the problem. Nobody... Yeah, it's like behind the you know fridge. Where, you know what? It's not. I pulled the fridge out today. I looked for it. I searched. It hit under the fridge like fuck. And it might have went in the fridge and yeah. went, guess what, bitch? You ain't finding me. Yeah. I didn't look in the fridge. That's fair. Oh, hey, did you finish that entire cowboy? No. Oh. Why the fuck would I do it? It's almost full it was, still. It I poured like a tiny bit. I just want to on your lens. Um, the Belmarangi. Belmarangi. That thing's better. Oh. Belmarang or Belmarangi. Yeah, Bel- the, 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 the teal one. Candy. Yeah, the that teal one. That better, I think, personally. Dude, it smells good, though. A little bit of hay. Does the yeah? Does the Texas funk come across as youth in that though? I think so. Whereas in the Bell Mirage, it doesn't. In my opinion, could be wrong, dude. I don't know. It's like honey leather hay. It's got some of that Texas mesquite. So, what was I talking about? I don't, I don't what know. What was the thing? We're talking about peanut butter, and then it. Nancy, that sounds perfect. That sounds awesome. Oh, Let yeah. us know. No worries. That sounds fantastic. Oh my god! What's the proof on this? Uh, she's high. Yeah. Oof. I, I know that they're all barrel-proof Texas whiskeys, so. Circus, one, Squirrel TX PB Screwball, like 20 different PB whiskeys. Some are legit good. Dude, I... Dude, holy shit. Listen, kick the... How do we... That's like blow a... blow smoke down <clears> there? It's like the a cr- rake on the back of my throat. Will the cricket die I can't even feel out? like I've uh, had a cigar anymore, because that just <clears throat> clawed out the back of my throat. Belmarea. I was talking about Statesman, so... Yeah. The, I can't remember who it was. <laughs> Roger Brown. Dan's vocabulary is second to none. I completely agree. Um, Statesman, there was a really interesting backstory. The guy from Old Forester, somebody from Old Forester, went on a podcast. He was talking about Statesman and the release. I don't think it was Jackie. Maybe it was. Cheers, Dan. Dan and Sean. Thank you, Richie. Thank Z. you, Richie. Appreciate it. Another um, OG of the channel. Matt Ball said, you should have a fan on the show. So... Sometimes we do uh, yeah, we were talking hangouts. About, yeah, like we, we were do talking about cigars. doing like a, a quarterly one. Grant Grant like hosts a cigar patron hangout where we'll hang out for a little while. Um one time we did have a bunch of people on, got yeah. a little messy, got a bunch of we feedback. Had a lot of fun. We're gonna have to redo that, like rework it a little bit. But we'll do it again. It is something that we can do from time to time. It's Thank just you, Nancy. A lot. Um yeah. But anyways, so the statesman stuff. They made it for they they partnered obviously with the movie was the Ki- the Kingsman, mm-hmm. which did you see the first one? Yeah, fan fucking task. Yeah, Golden Circle wasn't bad either. I didn't see the second one. What well, I'm not because I don't want to. Oh, I, I will watch. Like I yeah. would watch it, just haven't seen it. So, anyways, yeah. um, they partnered with them for the movie. Was it Edgar Tarrington? Yeah, he's a good actor. And they partnered with them when Old Forester was a much smaller brand. This is a, oh, yeah. quite a while ago, right? So Old Forester is a much smaller brand. And what? The, the story goes... Oh, look, Nancy said, before I go, Wyoming Whiskey also had a version of Statesman that came out last year. That's very interesting. I would love to try that. Next to that Statesman, yeah. actually. But, um, so, the Statesman from Old Forester was a whiskey, obviously, to go with the movie, but what it did for them was it got the whiskey, which wasn't anywhere. Old Forester wasn't at some bars or casinos or anywhere like that. It got some of their whiskeys into movie theaters and casinos and bars <laughs> because when the movie came out, the name Old Forester had been seen because of the Whiskey Statesman. Yeah. So it helped them grow the brand a lot. And now Old Forester has grown a shit ton. Which funny is also they years. had some uh, crazy Old Forester um, decanters in that movie too. Really? Yeah. So if you go through and like there are scenes in like the Golden Circle, I, I think it is, that they have like a whiskey bar up. And there's like the teardrop decanter oh, is in the background. That's cool. And I was like, hold on that's a cool. fucking second. Yeah. And I was like, only because of their ties, old forcers, why they have that. Well, but the then that's that's why it's so cool is because we're such big fans of old forcer. Statesman helped them grow their brand a lot, and the whiskey isn't bad. Okay, like, which one is that? I'll tell you right now. <clears throat> 
I'm telling you right now. One knows. Tiny Saw said Fiverr for pronouncing my name correctly. You know what? I'm starting a new I'm starting a new Instagram thing. One knows everybody knows the rules. Jack Daniels Heritage. Holy shit, that smells amazing. That's Jack Daniels Heritage. That's banana, marshmallow, cream pies. Mm. You think so, huh? Mm-hmm. Vanilla. All right, Grant, tell us which one's in the clear bottle. Or I full proof. I don't even have to smell the other one. Or Jack Daniels Heritage. Roger Brown said, have definitely increased Old Forester sales. That's their name got in more places. Their blue and orange labels, their cheaper ones got in bars. Mm-hmm. Like the 1910s, and, or the, I'm sorry, the 1870s and shit got the casinos. Movie the Statesman went to movie theaters. Like, it got their brand out a bunch. You can't hate them for growing their brand. If you hate them for growing their brand, then you're a fucking asshole. Someone wanted us to compare Heritage to the Elijah Craig Toasted, by the way. And I said, that's actually probably a pretty good comparison. Is Heritage Toasted? Yeah. Really? I'm pretty sure. Because it's a... It, go look at the bottle. I'm pretty sure that's a toasted barrel. Go look. Go look. Wow, he just got up and ran. The hut's actually 100 yards. He fucking dashed. What's it say? What's it say? It's not finished and toasted. It's aged and toasted. Oh, shit. Well, I mean... So is Elijah Craig toasted. It's aged in a toasted barrel. It's Ah, it's still aged, though. It's still aged there. Dude, that's good. So that's not finished. EC toasted's finished. Ugh, Take some gorilla chemist pre with your trend, and then you can keep up with this tree. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Okay. That's how you make any bourbon better. Yeah, dude. Um, white Powerade in a Glen. Rinse with the yep. White Powerade or White Gatorade, either one. And yeah. Make just, sure it's you empty. just need it in just, it needs to basically coat the inside of the Glen, then you yep. pour whiskey in it. It's always better every time. 100%. Certainly zero for a thousand. I was damn close. Okay. Zachary Jones coming in with the heat. It was very close. That was a good throw. It was very close. How very well said, I hate to say it, but Sean's right. About what? Because he wasn't. Apparently wasn't. It says it's uniquely fucking aged or some shit. <clears throat> like it's finished in a toasted barrel? Oh, man, that white pile raid. Roger Brown. That's funny, buddy. Uh, uh, Cold Force which won't talk to the channel. No. Um, oh, did you miss Tiny Sauce's super chat, you fucking no, asshole? No, I said Fiverr for pronouncing the name right. Is I'm pretty sure that's what his... Uh, no? Is that not what a super chat well, was? Somebody, yeah, it's right there. Somebody Trenton, we what did we fucking miss? Trenton said we missed the super chat. It's probably Dan. see it right there. I was up looking for JD Heritage. What? And that was like two seconds. What? What's the other? Wait, Brian Callen died? No. Just Some, his career. Something else. <sighs> He's got a Patreon. Okay. They had to rename his fucking shit to get around. Nope. They're not doing it anymore. It's gotten so much worse. Oh, it's gotten so much worse. Oh, tell me some deets here. Okay. So. We're off. We're we're BJ's after yeah, dark at this true. point in time. Real quick. So Brian Callen and Brendan have a fighter in the kid podcast. Not anymore. B- they did. They had. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Pres or er, pretense. So anyways, what's that? Hat heritage. Mm-mm. Oh, this is what I proof with the power eight zero in it. Mm-hmm. It's always better, dude. Mm-hmm. Telling you. Oh, someone else. Uh, real quick, crowned head cigars. Is that a real fucking thing, or are they thinking of? Uh, um, like an all Caldwell? king, like Caldwell shit. Why? It won't let us scroll down farther in the super chat, so I can't see him. Oh, shit. We missed Matthew Godby's. Oh, sorry. Where do you guys want to see yourself channel 5, 10, 15 years from now? 15 Holy fucking shit. years? Holy shit. Sean will be dead. 15. For sure. I'll be prime. Also dead. <laughs> uh, we maybe not in 5, but 10. Other... Wait, but... did we talk about that in the Q&A? I we think did? so. We did. Is that the five-year yeah, one? Yeah, we did. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to put out a Q&A episode a as video. an extra piece of content. And we did answer the five-year question. I don't have a 10 or 15. We can't. a long fucking Spoiler time. alert. We can hardly uh, wrap our minds around five. 
Okay, what was the other one we missed? Th- that's we didn't all. Miss of them. any of these? No. There were tiny. T- I said there were two in there. Oh, Daniel. Okay, Kinnan. we didn't miss that. Like the pasta. Love giving y'all hell. Thanks for the shout out. No, why would be like the pasta? Nope. Yep. Okay, we ca- we're caught up. I'm sorry that Sean missed those. Sometimes I stand. Crown up has a real thing to make up. good sticks. What? Our, oh, it's uh, Cao. Cow. I, I actually don't think I've had a lot of their stuff. That's not how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. Cao. Cow. Nope. Cao. Cow. No, you pronounce it by saying the letters. Uh, cow. No, nope. There's nope. Nope. It's not an abbreviation. They're letters. Jay Hamilton said that's <laughs> retirement age for Dan. Yeah. Okay. He'd be drawn on social security. Oh Having a good fucking time. Okay, so the Brian Callen thing? Yeah, go ahead. So, <sighs> Brian Can- Callen gets canceled. Somebody says that he raped her. He says he didn't. He says he's not going to stay silent. Team JV, Dan's five-year plan is don't die. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck. You come in fucking four hours into this fucking live with that comment, dude. How dare you? Okay. Oh, Fuck. Heading to bed. Good night, friends. See you when I see you next. Maybe tomorrow's for some pre-gaming shenanigans. Trev Wilson, thanks for being here, buddy. Christopher Hart said, Hope friend shop, super night, fan. Dude, let's talk about it sometime. Ha ha, cheers. Hell yeah. Um, I've, like, You're literally wearing your thick boy bike I shirt. go in. I'm going in waves now with him. With Callan? No, no, no. Shop. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. Because of some opinions. Yeah. But anyways. Um, Are they political or otherwise? Yeah. Dude, listen. I actually don't give a fuck what anybody's political opinion is, right? But... <laughs> When you sound like a fucking moron constantly and then shit on people for not agreeing with you, it just bothers me. Like, I don't care who you like. I, you can like either one, but not sure if anyone said anything about hitting 35K. Nailed we did, it today. yesterday. Literally like, at, like, long 8 o'clock tonight. Yeah, because we had, like, 10 subs to go, like, two hours before the I stream. looked at it. We had, like, three subs to go. My wife goes, well, I guess I'm going to go on sub. So we don't need you. We don't need you. She goes, clearly you do. <laughs> Gabby, we don't need that negativity. How about that? Okay. So Brian gets, they, Brian, so Fire and the Kid is sponsored or run or whatever the hell by Cast Media. They work with somebody named Cast Media. Cast Media, we still have one more Monday with the rash on my face. But no, we don't. We're good. We're no, out of Monday. Yep. We We're out of videos them. with rashes on my faces. So. Um, Cast Media dro- was one of the sponsors that dropped Brian Callen with the allegations, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the problem is now he can't do firing the kid because mm-hmm. Cast has at least some stake in firing Rights the kid. Right to it, yeah. So Callen and Shab start a Patreon that's the fighter in the rinks. Hold up real quick. Yeah. This, this requires it. ADHD whiskey. You want to read that? Got a fat stack of AB cigars today. Might shoot my first cigar video tomorrow. My first cigar ever. Thoughts. Please call me before you do that. Anyways, yeah. Well, please call me definitely well that. before you do that. Okay. Okay. Um, I Cats knew, I media. knew that cigars were on their way to Matt, and I'm just, I've been waiting. Yeah. I've cats media is what someone said. Cats, cats, or cats. Or cats or whatever. So anyways, um, the problem is they dropped Callan. Callan and Shop started Patreon mm-hmm. for the rinks, the fighter in the rinks. Renamed Which is it. him. Yeah. Renamed it. Just Callan and Shop. But same it's behind shit. the paywall. Yep. It's five bucks a month. I jump in. Five bucks a month. We're good. I'm in. Because he wants the same content. I'll, fi- I'll pay five a month. They're doing f- they're doing one episode a week. What's that? A dollar fifty an episode? Dollar twenty five an episode? Yeah, give or take. Cool, man. Sounds yeah. fucking great. So, anyways, they do one episode on that Patreon. Somehow cats or cast media, whichever the fucking one, they jump on and go, uh-uh. You can't do anything with him anymore. Mm. So they did one episode. That Patreon went from 14,000 members at five a month to last time I checked, it was at 6,000 and change because it can't be shop and Callan, right? Callan now has, so Callan doing a different podcast. Callan is an extremist when it comes to his political views on certain topics. Callan is? Callan is. Oh. He grabbed another, uh, d- the other side extremist, who's also a comedian who they're friends oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. That's what he's doing. He's a conspiracy theorist. Like, when I say conspiracy, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not talking lightly. He's, like, trying to, he's he a, talks about it and is, like, trying to convince you of and his it's, fucking And it's actually way. fun. Yeah. He's but smart, anyways, though. It's fun. Sam Tripoli is his name. But, so, Callan and Tripoli started a podcast. Well, then they don't do it all the time now. So, mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck happened with that. So, I'm about to leave their Patreon, because nothing, like... They're doing like one every two weeks or something now. 
Okay. I'm not. I, I'm not in for that, man. Okay. I'm not paying five dollars when the whole reason was one episode a week. We're good. I, I don't care, right? How many? Is it an hour? Um, I think hour twenty. That's hour, not bad, hour twenty. Though. You're getting two hours for five bucks. I know, but the problem was is what the whole point of signing up was Shab and Callum. Oh, yeah, right? I see what you're saying. Then they you're switch get, you're it. Get, you're getting the side piece instead of the main. Now I'm getting the, the side piece and yep. less on yep. top of it. Mm-hmm. So needless to say, fucking Callum, I don't know, man. Shab said on a fucking podcast on Monday with Michael Rappaport, he goes, dude, Chris D'Elia and fucking Callum might as well have moved out of California too because we're not allowed to talk to them anymore. I'm like, oh, shit. Shab said that? Yep, on a podcast. So needless to say. Yo. <sighs> mm-hmm. I'm- Fortunate. Zachary Jones said, like, tinfoil hat conspiracy theory. Yeah. yeah. Sam Tripoli is one of the most hardcore conspiracy theorists, mm-hmm. but he's not an asshole. I like Sam Tripoli. He is a hardcore. So the problem is they've proven that, like, when you believe one conspiracy theory, like, you're so much more adept to believe in sure. other ones mm-hmm. and, like, how bad it is for your mental health to believe in conspiracy I've heard theories. That, yeah. yeah. Well, like, it's a, a really big breakdown mentally. Yeah. Um, for you to believe in conspiracy theories. It's a big like lack that. of trust. Yeah. You're starting to, it's, a lot of them are really negative. Yeah. There's a lot of not great. Nothing comes good of it. Healthy habits that come yeah. from it. Now, it's and You're fun. allowed to believe in one. You can dabble in it. It's fun to dabble, though. Yeah. It's fun it to, like, so hear much fun them, to dabble. right? It's fun to hear oh. them and then go, that was fun, and then just move on. Yeah. That's what I like to do. I like to hear them and go, that's fun, and I leave. Or just flat. I'm good. All right, cool. Well, no, not right. that one. No, I'm good. <laughs> nope. We, we got cool. pictures. I believe we have actual pictures. No, um, we got a bunch. <laughs> we, we've been to the moon. Sean Star, am I crazy for liking Eagle Rare more than Angels Envy? No. no. I like, I like, I think we both like Eagle way more than Angels. Yeah. Normal Angels, normal Eagle, we're both Eagle. Every okay. time. You get uh, 10 year bourbon first, like, I think Angels is six to eight or something like that. What? Uh, eight? Regular, yeah. Four to six? I, I think it's older than that. I think it's 68. Dude, the new one? And it does like a six-month maturation in... So much money? Yeah. was f- blends of four and nine. Ooh. So I'd imagine Normal Angels is probably four or six. Ah. I think it's older. Um, God. Now that you say that, though, fuck. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have that long of a finish. Angels? Yeah. No, it's a low proof. No, no, no. Like, I'm saying like second finish in the barrel. Sub six months. Oh yeah, that. yeah. I think it's, it's pretty like short. Three yeah. to four months. Yeah. Eh, it's sixty dollars. It's got a great looking bottle though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially on a shelf when you're getting into whiskey, it's really pretty. It's got the angel wings on the back. It's mm-hmm. nice. <gasps> also, it's a really easy drinker. The port sweetens it up, like the port finish. Sweetens angels like crazy. It's fantastic. It's. I think. I think the angels is like one of the most preferred beginner whiskeys or something like that because it's so sweet and like easy to drink i can see that it makes sense yeah that finish just you can hand it to anyone and they're like dang that's not bad yeah (sighs) jay stew dude holy shit that's a good question so speaking of ages it was great because i'm gonna do it i said i wouldn't do in the uh the bardstown thing yeah a guy said something about like elijah craig barrel proof is one of one Mm -hmm. yeah in the the pros versus Euro, mm-hmm. Joe's that the girl and the guy he goes ah oh, man I want to say it's ECBP but it doesn't have an age statement it, like they used to say twelve years they don't know I was like oh he's thinking small batch yeah I was like the the barrel proof the still say still twelve say years say 12. yeah I was like oh yeah is Kentucky all right I think I'm pretty sure it was Diesel yeah. that fucking roasted him was really like, what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is this guy I was like god damn it dude. <laughs> Dude, no, D-Sub no, no, will no. talk some it's shit. Like you can't talk shit about the D-Sub people that are in the some fucking shit, know. Dude. Yeah, It's funny, man. He'll talk some shit. Um, most Kentucky all rye worth 200. Uh, we, I have a very unpopular opinion. That yes, it is. We like every Kentucky owl. We've always had it. It's always been in the, the top. Yeah. Rye. The rise. Yeah. The top of our, like, rise of the year yeah. releases. Yeah. I'm, v- I'm very looking forward to all special the, rise, the final batch, yeah. uh, which is Kentucky All Four. Um, Sugar Kitty put it well. Angels for people who don't like bourbon yet, not necessarily beginner. Yeah, that's fair. That's what I meant. In my head, same idea. Um, but, yeah, I completely agree. Uh, Angels Envy is, like, a really good thing to be able to get people to, like, sip on. Maybe even neat. Like, it is pretty expensive for what it is. Yeah. But what you real like it's a good like gateway thing where you can start to realize like, oh I do like some of this stuff. I can move on to the next thing now. Um Richie Z talking about the old Carter five. Fantastic. 
We haven't had that. That's the so the old Carter Five Bourbon. We had the rye. Is the one that I think Jason did fantastic. that review on and said it was like one yeah. of the best. And then a bunch of people are coming out saying it's one of the greatest bourbons now. You can fight me, King Kentucky. <laughs> hey, also, can we let's talk about this? One of the things that I want to try, not own. Okay. One of the things I want to try more than anything this year, not fucking own, is the Kentucky Owl Dry State. Mm. I want to try that so bad. Della Della Bills, yo. $1,000 bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Retail. That's but like double legal, very rare. Coming out like that $2,000 MSRP. Is that three? I think, I think I'm pretty sure it's two. And then it sits on the shelf for 10 yeah. People were buying them for like a trophy. five yeah. to flip for ten. See a guy at the I saw a guy at a bar. He <sighs> walks in, the bar opens it in front of him. Oh yeah, I saw that. He goes, yep. How many pours do you video. want? And it was like three hundred dollars a pour or something like that. I don't remember. Something outrageous in it. But they bought two, didn't oh, they? So much money. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely the same video then. Because they bought two. Yeah. Because yep. they let him open there are two I people. Thought. Yeah. Yep. Fuck. Dude, I'm I'm gonna say Packaging alone, definitely worth about 200 bucks. On the double eagle? You open it up, the oh, LED strips. LEDs yeah. They turn off. Ugh. Motion sense, basically. Ugh. It's worth some money. Um, It is delicious, but Old Carter Batch 3 American Whiskey is the best Old Carter Dan all said. Sugar Kitty said 125 150 for all right. Uh, I if mean, you can I would find love, it for I would that, love I'd buy to it see all it. day. I would love to see yeah. it at 150 yep. But unfortunately... Retail two hundred. It's still, um, it's what happened. Yeah, it's one hundred percent what happened. You gotta pay for the part. <laughs> John so. Belushi, did you guys just come on? Nope. About to shut her down. Shut her down. We got Cookie over here. Fights Bucket. the Chai Town. We need to borrow something from Grant to review it, but it's in Chai Rack, right? <sighs> and so, unfortunately, it's not possible. Um. I remember that conversation. Dan was like, I won't fucking drive to Chirac for that. Nope. I won't. Not right now. It's Chirona, Chirac, dude. I ain't going to both, okay? When it's normally just Chirac, we'll talk about it. I just don't want to go with any population density. No, it's really nice before. living out in BFE, honestly, yeah. right now. So, Dan L, batch three whiskey is 138 proof. A bit warm. We had that. Uh, somebody sent us a sample. I think it was Ryan Alvarez. Somebody sent us a sample of the American whiskey from Old Carter that won a bunch of awards, and it was amazing. But honestly, I think the bourbon over there, that bourbon over there yeah. that we have, the twelve year single barrel, it's is one of the best. Oh, so good, dude. Yeah, that's one of the best bourbons we've had in the past two years, I'd say. Greg D, yeah, we'll do more. How much would you pay series for sure? Nick Foles, which B Tech bottle are we most excited for? Um. I'm always excited for WOW. I was excited for Stag. Stag's proof came up a bunch off its lowest proof last year. Yeah, hopefully it's a hitter this year. Um, we didn't really like it. It was much still last good. Year. It I mean, was good. I think it was like what fourth overall. Okay, it was good, but we didn't. It didn't like hold up to other com- it bottles. Did not. Whereas the 2018 held up to hitters and did well. Yeah. The 2019 like against hitters didn't do very well, and then by itself did really well. Yeah. And it was like, dude, it's nice when you blind something and that thing holds up. I don't know. I I think Handy's always going to be my lowest now. Yeah. I don't know. I still want to own a bottle of Thomas H. Handy because we never have. We've never yeah. owned a bottle of Thomas H. Handy. We've never been blown wow. away by a bottle of it, though. We've only owned George T. Stagg from the BTAC That's collection. Yeah. I didn't think about that until yeah. right now. We will do it this year and next, but you and Sean and AB Cigars Alec will all drink it. Grant, I can't wait, buddy. We'll have to bring down some. I don't Roger have... said, quit day job. Make more vidjes. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was that easy, buddy. But we're trying. <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky Owl confiscated worth it. Local price had it for 150 Hell no for $150. If, um, I know people were getting it for like 80 or 90 out in like West Coast. What? Uh, KO confiscated. Oh yeah, dude! In California, it was in Costco for eighty. Yeah, eighty ninety. That's where that bottle dude. should live. I wouldn't pay a dime over a hundred for it. Yeah, yeah. We like it. It's weird because we didn't. 
like it in the review, but so much of it's based on the value of the bottle. Yeah. The whiskey's we not bad, We get shit on so much for putting so much emphasis on price. Yeah, but then people and shit then us people, when we don't <laughs> yeah. do that. We make a how much did you pay video, and we're like, hey, you need just the money in the fucking <laughs> mirror of YouTube and fucking Patreon. And then we are like, then we do a value list, and they're like, oh, you guys can't, it's all about value <laughs> for you guys. It's like, no, hey, fucker, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Go away. I fired Dan up. Dude, pick Unknowingly. one. Pick what unknowingly got Dan fired. You know what else, Bollock? I'm going to go just one fucking second here. We made a video called Five Wood. Yes. 70. Perfect. Yes. That's where that, that whiskey should live. We did a video of like the five whiskeys, the Reddit video that we asked Matt to do. And then Matt asked uh, Whiskey Central to do or yep. Destination Bourbon. And then Klein asked Whiskey Central to do. Lost it. She asked Jason to do. Anyway, so on and so forth. We did that video. That video was just simply a list of. Your five whiskeys yep. and my five whiskeys yep. in our lives that we would use in those scenarios. Yep. If I read one more comment about <laughs> how you can't find Stag Jr. somewhere, I didn't say the <laughs> list was available, okay? And then I it, didn't say you can buy this at Walmart. I like all the comments. It's like, whiskeys could have just said bourbons. All right, that's what we went with. We no, are the bourbon junkies. We didn't. We went with straight bourbon. I responded to one of these for people. For a list reason. I responded to one of those people and said, listen, that video, when we did it, the whole point was we were going to ask another person to do the video, right? Yeah. I don't want to limit them to bourbon. Yeah. So we, in the fucking Reddit post was whiskey. Fuck off for a second. So Tito Dirk. Smoking a cigar, drinking whiskey, listening to you guys, and writing an AP biology test tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Those poor students. Oh. <laughs> writing a test? If you have to write tests, I assume you're a fucking genius. Because I can't answer most questions on tests. That's a proven fact. So See you're my stupid. GPAs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, everybody's like, I can't even get Stag Jr. in York. New York. I can't get it here Holy either. Holy shit. Stag Jr. is available in Australia for $320. One of my favorite, honestly, one of my favorite parts of that video is when I go, dude, Stag Jr. retails for 60 bucks." You go, where, Dan? <laughs> where at? And I just cut it. I hard cut. There's no answer. It doesn't. But <laughs> it was. I'm fucking joking. Like, And I love Stag Jr. Yeah. That's all it, like. Fuck, man. If I could find it everywhere for $60, it wouldn't be anywhere. Because, like, everybody loves it for 60 Everybody loves ECBP for 60 Just how it works. Fuck, man. Okay, so. Yeah. We usually go till about midnight. We got about 12 more minutes. I'm fucking, I'm, it's time to shut it down. You're shutting I forgot to tell you. I wore my whoop last night. I went to sleep. Luna's been. Oh, fucking try me here. I have a fucking 10-month-old. We slept on the floor. I don't give a fuck. You, you're you an adult with no kids. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the problem. I'm not saying you don't have shitty sleeping situations, <laughs> but it's on you. Like, this is where I'm at. Yeah. So, last night, my whoop. The night before, I went to bed at 8.47 p.m. Oh, dude, Gabby, her new uh, watch. She gets something? Oh, yeah. That? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it tells her, it was like, you slept like fucking shit. Yeah. It's not good when you wake up and it says yeah. that. It's like, did you even sleep? So did you try? Two nights ago, I went to bed at 8.47 p.m. because Luna's getting another tooth, and she says, fuck you, I don't care about your sleep. Your children do not teeth well. They, neither one, honestly, man. It's not. Apparently, genetically, we don't teeth well as shooks. So, anyways, so she... Did you? I don't know. You your mom? You should ask your mom. Can man. I tell you about yeah, my ahead, fucking sorry. parents, dude? My... <laughs> My mom. <laughs> okay. My mom. Just told we don't me ever drink this. That's so good too. My mom told me the other day. We used to. She goes, "You're the worst baby when it came to riding cars and shit." She goes, "Every time we get in the car, we just give you a dumb, dumb sucker." Uh, I go, "How old is I?" She goes, six, one. six seven months." Oh, holy. At six. Choking this, hazard. <laughs> I looked at my mom. I go, "No wonder I've got an eating problem. I've been eating sugar since six months old. I've been just sucking down suckers since I was." Six months old. So, and because we were talking about oh, Luna. shit. So, Luna wakes up four or five times a night, and you got to rock her back to sleep. She doesn't like it. She's very mad. Legitimately shitty. But. That sucks. Two nights ago, 847, I wake up at five, right? I get up at five. I'm up at five. I'm up with Luna, blah, blah, blah. Then, 
Oh, Logan, I yes. I don't want to miss Sorry. that. I don't want to miss that. Found you all during lockdown. First time catching live. Thanks for the content. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Thanks for being buddy. here. Thanks, Thanks for, for being a part of the, the record-setting night for us. Fucking fam, man. So, um, so last night. <laughs> Someone said my whoop judged me, too. Dude, <laughs> it does. Up. Go on. <laughs> it does. Mike C, yeah, my whoop judges me, too. I haven't seen recovery in the yellow <laughs> since the day. <laughs> so last night. My normal recovery is in the yellow, right? And nor- that night I, I, I slept from 8.47 to fucking 5 a.m. It was like, you pretty much did what kind of what normal we people want, do, right? Yeah. Last night, I woke up this morning. It says, your sleep is fucking blah, blah. You should check it. I clicked on it, 29% out of 100. All right. It said, hey, bitch, don't do that anymore. Dude, okay. I'm going to hit you with a, a little thing here. Huh? So the one guy in our office, just uh, his wife just had another child. Okay. And I knew they had a bunch of kids. We did a, uh, like, an outing, and I was like, wow, he's got a flock. Okay. They, they literally have a moving van for all their kids. Is he Catholic? I don't know. Okay. So my boss goes, yeah, they welcomed their 10th child. I, I, think, I think they've adopted three or I four. I don't care where they came from. And ten? they have 10 children now. I was like, oh. Britt, what the hell? And they were like, yeah, Britt's just... Like, he's so, like, <laughs> cool and collected at work and, like, doesn't talk about, like, oh, family stuff and stuff. He like can't. That. He's got to get away. It's like, dude, he's got ten kids. Ten kids? Ten. ten. So, if I you, th- you want to talk about some fucking sleep. You want to talk about some pipe. That guy's got some pipe. Dan L., that is the collector's corner, buddy. We're going to do one, probably one collector's corner a month is what we're trying to do. Red, white, and boosted. Get the hot chick from the Tri Channel to taste bourbon with y'all. She has a YouTube with hella subs. Okay, I think we need to talk about how you think it, that'll this that works. conversation will go. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! This story about why he needs to shut this down should push, push us past midnight, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Fucking hey. I'm telling you, uterus are is they, not a are clown they car. On no, the they are definitely not. A neocycle. Hey, Dan, last try. Get your kid an uncoated amber teething. Nap. Dude, I'm fucking, I will try fucking anything except drugs. <laughs> except that. Ricky looked at me today and she literally goes, you think whiskey still works on babies? Or mm-hmm. And I looked at her and I go, mm-hmm. you're the worst person. And she goes, listen, I'm just asking. We get for, a bunch. I'm asking for other people. I'm, I'm asking for our sanity <laughs> right now. So, well, tonight, so this is, the, this is why I got to go to bed tonight. Luna is sleeping two miles away at my parents' house. Perfect. Just tonight. One night. We get one fucking night. That was last Tuesday. Because the same shit's been going on. Ricky about fucking started murdering human beings because she had so sleep deprived, I thought she was going to end everybody. And I'm like, okay, Ricky All needs right. a break. We got to get her out of this shit. So, yeah. Oh, no, there. Uh, I'm sorry. Logan Yet said, I also have a newborn. Second, the Amber Teething Necklace. Recommendation, right, dude. I'm putting it on my fucking phone because I will forget that. Amber teething necklace. It's a natural aspirin release on skin. Work for all four kids. Great. I literally typed amber teething. The first result necklace near me. Nope. This is not Pornhub, and I'm not looking for <laughs> matches, dude. Like, bolt. Nope. That- Tommy D said, "You guys are still going?" Neighbor came over. Said the staff watching. <laughs> yeah. We got uh, a couple more minutes. All right. Wait. They. I'm assuming they can't wear this while they sleep because they'll no. choke. So what do you do when they sleep? Listen, Take it she's, off. during the day, we can get through it. Oh, it was Tommy D. Did they ban teething tablets? Um. So the the thing that they used to put on baby's gums, I don't know what they, they found our pediatrician. Cancer, our yeah. pediatrician is super progressive. I like her a lot for that, right? Like a lot yeah. of the shit we ask her she's about, up on a lot she of shit. knows about. Yeah. The shit that they used to put on their gums that my mom said they put on my gums. <laughs> this fucking explained there. She goes, yeah, it causes seizures and strokes. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Well, bro, that's like the fucking um, talcum powder or whatever it is causing ovarian cancer. It was like, fuck, we used that for 90 years. We didn't yeah. know. No, nobody knows, fuck. man. We thought asbestos was dude, great. Nobody knows, dude. Asbestos, fighter retardant, dude. was great insulating. <laughs> Oh fuck! We got a wonder yeah. fucking building material. <gasps> Cause cancer. Yeah, and then it caught. Yeah, um, Sierra. Dude, right. Okay, hold on. These stories of how parents used to handle shit might be some of the greatest stories of all time. Cause shit was so fucking wild west back then. 
Just do whatever you do. Yeah. Everybody lives, people sleep, shit like that, right? If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Richie Z, 600 plus in chat is a record night, even for any whiskey channel, even Chad and Sarah. Okay, Richie Z, dude, so our our record before this was 670 mm-hmm. before tonight. Tonight, I think we hit 709 Nine, or 710, yeah. somewhere Se- in that uh, range. 712, I think. 712. So that's a new It'll record peak. for us. It'll show us. Seven was fantastic. That's amazing. That's Here, incredible. I'll find it. Um, it doesn't show. Doc Scout. No, it shows us when we end it. Um, Doc Scout said, my old man would tie a sugar cube in a hanky, then put a few drops of whiskey <laughs> on it. Worked like a charm for all seven dude, of Dude, no us. shit. Yeah, it would like absorb it in the fucking I sugar. I bet it fucking did, dude. Well, so every time we go to the hospital, Luna has to get an IV. They always do it's like cold. a sugar droplet on her tongue or her gums because it's supposed to help them calm down. Guess what? Luna don't give a fuck about sugar. They drop that shit in her mouth, and she spits it out and goes, bitch, this fucking hurts. Like, she doesn't care, man. Sierra is pronounced, well, it could be Kara or Kara. I know people with that exact same spelling pronounce two names. Whoa. Wait, what? Can that really be con- pronounced Kara? Yeah. Or Kara, like you said, yeah. or Kara, but... Just dip your finger in the strongest barrel proof you have and let her sleep. So Holden used to have allergies, and Holden was not. To whiskey? Nope. Nope. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. Holden used to have allergies, and so they you would. You keep feeding it to him, he doesn't have any problems Yeah. They would ask, or they would recommend using small amounts of Benadryl, right, when he had allergies because it helped him a lot. I'm going to be honest, dude. Benadryl is the greatest sleep medication of all time for kids. Yeah, and now for it was, adults, too. It was prescribed. Adults as well. We used it within reason. Take, it, take a Benadryl. You Try know, to stay awake. You know what the best thing? Well, I took a Benadryl for all these rashes. I passed out so fucking hard on the <laughs> couch, dude. My body was like, it's time, bitch. You are like, I'm so tired. Why? Dude, it's sleepy time. <laughs> it was fantastic, man. It was amazing. They did say Benadryl is one of the safest medications dosage-wise. Yeah. They said that Benadryl's so underdosed, like on the packaging, mm-hmm. like take X milligrams. They said that that's so underdosed, you can triple it and not have negative side effects. Perfect. I did a little research. Now, that was Google research, so don't, let's, don't fucking take triple. That's what Google said somewhere, Prime Medical Study. Kiera. Okay. Sierra, dude. No, Kiera, oh, right there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right there. Little key. What is Tri Channel? No, like the the try is like it's a bunch of Irish people that do, they they like try bourbons. Just try everything. Yeah, it's they just try a bunch of shit. They've done like the the one chip challenge. They do a bunch of shit. Oh shit! Like they've got a huge fucking channel. Really? Yeah. She's That's interesting. N- pretty easy on this. Jeremy Sears. I yeah. like how you pulled the Sears up there. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what? From now on, that's the Sears. Very easy. You on know what? They're easy a on the. A couple eyes. of them are. Okay. Well. 50 milligrams max for you. No, 50 milligrams literally puts you in the fucking dirt. 50 milligrams of Benadryl? Yeah. Bitch, I chewed that last night. And then I stayed up. I mean, they do make chewables, yes. <laughs> no, you did not stay up. <laughs> Eventually that kicks in I and you're take, like, I might take Benadryl tonight, dude. This this ratch is just a little bit. I think those words came out, right? Dr. Dran, the Benadryl savant. Dude, I'm switching everything to savant for right now. ADHD whiskey disclaimer: Dana n- isn't a doctor yet. Do not take this as medical advice. That's fair. That's not a doctor fair. ever. Yeah. This is the end of uh, was it Parks and Recs, or is mm. like not a doctor. Scrubs. Uh could be, or both. Yeah. The that's a production company though. Yeah, not a doctor. Uncle Buck said she drinks bourbon like more of a man than I'll ever be. He meant ever though. The U.S. Army says nine hundred milligrams Motrin and changing socks cures anything. <laughs> I've heard other people from the military say the sock thing before. The changing the socks, which is really interesting. So they march a fuck ton? Right, of course. So, like, their socks get, like, waterlogged and shit. So, like, when they go through and their their feet are just raw as fuck, they'll right. put new socks on. They're like, oh, puts them to bed. That sounds fucking miserable. Yeah, it's bad. Devlar said tri is freaking hilarious. They did an advent calendar in one sitting. Okay, I gotta watch this channel now. I'm gonna watch. You've never this. watched any I've of the I've never heard shit? of it. I've never heard of it. Oh, dude, they do a thing. It was like they try, um, like absinthe. They try bourbon. They try American whiskeys and stuff like that. Okay, I feel like I've. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm trying to think if I've watched the Try Channel now or if I've watched. There's a guy on there that is the most stereotypical, uh, like Irish person ever, but he's got like. 
long hair, mustache, goatee. Hilarious. As a person. I gotta watch it. It's fucking great. I gotta watch it. Oh, wait, is it one channel or is it multiple channels? He said the Irish tri channel. Yeah, it's one. just the the tri channel, and okay. they're all Irish. Oh, okay. All right, I gotta watch this. All right, it's we're fantastic. Sh- they do like a cocktail episode one. They haven't tried Malort. Neither have we. I don't want to. We will. I think we'll do a review on Malort on Monday. A Monday review. Can I tell you about a bottle we haven't reviewed? I was going through our reviews. It's gonna be the lowest grade ever. <laughs> Dude, can I tell you? I don't think we ever gave it an F. We have not done a review. This will blow your mind, I guarantee you. It blew my mind. I went through all of our reviews trying to find this one. We've never reviewed Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey, old number seven, ever. No, I, I know that. What? Yeah. How have we not reviewed the most popular whiskey on the planet? Because we always uh, recommend shit that's not Jack Daniels. That's so weird to me. Ben Elkhorn. Acorn. Ben Acorn. In, in Kentucky. Kentucky. In Sipped. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even waited oh. on 18 different whiskeys over the entire day. Put this towards the bottle fund. Is that a thing? Can be. No. Can we be. haven't done that in a while, actually. Can that was be. a holy fucking throwback. That's Jesus wheel. Christ, dude. That's no, back. we even did that on the, the drop. We did that for a week. That was so, but it started on the wheel. Yeah. When we used to have 60 to 70 people a night in chat. We've 10X'd it. We've Holy officially fuck. 10X'd it. That's fucking amazing. That's the coolest thing in the world, dude. That's such a throwback. Yeah, we That's used to so do cool. a, a bottle fund that when it landed on that, we, we had a bottle that we were trying to buy for the channel. Um. Yeah. At one point in time, remember the last the you remember the last lofty one you threw out there? Bottle? Yeah, I remember it. I remember decades was one of them. No, nope, I remember it this day. The what last one you threw out there, Elmer one hundred. Yeah, yep. You threw that out there. It was like okay. Yeah. And then we got one. It was like, holy West shit. Uh, West Hanty borrow one. Yep. For a review, and then we got one out. Uh, yeah. You know, elsewhere, but Dan L. All <sighs> he, back to the pills. He said all of them are chewable. All pills are. <laughs> Some just are meant to be. And then this is why I scroll back up to mm. find that because Julie L said, <laughs> she said, at Dan L, no. Retract that statement. As a nurse, just no. Ugh. Red, white, and boosted. What can the bourbon junkie fam team to do to make this real? This Kira chick needs to go bows and toes with Dan <laughs> and Sean. I don't know what that means. I need to watch this channel. I got to catch up. Dan and Sean, pour each of your fave bourbon in 2020 as a nightcap. Why not? Because I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to take a Benadryl for real and go to bed. You're bitch. What about Gentleman Jack? Have we reviewed Gentleman Jack? No. I like Gentleman Jack, actually. We had it in a whiskey war. I went and bought one just for a whiskey war one time. Chris Valencia has some OG shit. He said the wheel heart. A- Alan said, so glad the wheel's gone. The wheel started to take a lot of time out of the... That was the issue is we went from like 60 people. We could do the wheel. And then it was like, dude, we'll do the, the drop. That'd be easy. We set up a, a second cam for it. We had the drop. And then all of a sudden, for some odd reason, we went from like 70 to 150 people. Yeah. And then the the drop became wild. We are like, all right, we're going to fucking re- rethink this entire thing. Um, and then it got to a point where it was like, all right, I was doing all the live chat stuff and was taking down all the donations and stuff like that. And we couldn't keep up. It well, dude, really we've spent like bat- 40 good. minutes of a live stream spinning the wheel and writing shit down, which yeah. is a lot. Yeah. Too much. Um, so Julie said some are time release and could kill you if you chew them. So for real, don't chew them. I just want to put that hey, information out there. if you take like there. 20 time, though, it'll be the last head- headache you nope. ever had. See? Nope. Okay. No. So. 100%. <laughs> no, that's true. Okay. So yeah, I know because you'll die. Do you know why? Because you'll die. You know, Tylenol is real fun. So it's if you a take a thinner. no, no, it takes a if you take a shit ton of Tylenol, it'll instantly give you an ulcer. And it'll eat through your stomach and oh. liquefy your organs. It is a terrible That's way to die. Worst. That yeah, sounds... so you get to a certain point where they just can't help you. Like you, if you pump your stomach, <sighs> right, you've gone matter. too far. It doesn't matter. matter. So don't eat a lot of Tylenol. Jeffrey Wax, I love how they act like the wheel was years ago. Pretty sure that was a month it ago, was. but time moves strangely these days. No, it was definitely over. The a year wheel ago. did start over a year ago, but yeah. I would say the did the wheel end this year though? In January mm. we had three thousand mm. subs, mm-hmm. so the wheel probably ended in within yeah. twenty twenty. 
Yeah, 100%. I bet it... No, it ended before then. Before 20... It ended yeah. last year? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That I bet it would be like... Rowdy. I bet it was last, like, October, November. Like, <laughs> after we came back from the Bastards Ball. Okay. Dan, Dan L is now putting PSAs. That <laughs> <laughs> do not chew that shit. Okay. So, love you guys very much. Uncle yeah. Buck said, I was watching some of you guys... Lives from January. It's amazing to see the evolution. Thank you, buddy. Um, does Rock Hill Farms hit soon? It did in a bunch of states that weren't Michigan. We will see 2020 in 2021. I hope we that's, see a 2020. Let's put it that way. That's how and Michigan single. works. Yeah. I hope we see a single 2020. Yeah. Um, it just hit in like Indiana and a bunch of other states. So did Elmer hit in a bunch of places. Oh, but hey, fun question. Here. Okay. So what would you pay for a 2020 Elmer? And then I'll I'll say what I'd pay for a 2020 Rock Hill, because that's your match bill too. That's my match bill too. One. Yeah. Well, I can only get one. Yeah. And I don't foresee myself getting another one. Yep. Seventy five. That's it. Yeah. That's what? it. What the fuck do you mean? That's it. It's a forty dollar bottle of whiskey. One hundred ten. In my head, one hundred ten. I'll pay that for a Rock Hill right now. No. Oh, just no. one. No. Twenty twenty Rock Hill. Double retail. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I guess mine's double retail almost. That's the thing. Elmer's 40. Elmer's a cheap-ass bottle of whiskey, dude. Uh, Makers 46, cast strength, review coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That and we have we got so a couple. many Mondays. Oh, my gosh. We have so many Mondays to shoot. How does anyone find anything from the Jay Hamilton question? said he started following in January and remembers the wheel. Yeah. What the fuck? Sean's an idiot. It feels like a lifetime ago. William Davlar picked up an Elmer for thirty seven ninety five. So mine is double. My I did say double then technically. The cricket is a lot. He's getting riled up. We're gonna shut her down. I'm gonna find that cricket tomorrow. I'm gonna end his family. So anyway, <laughs> uh, love you guys very much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Julie says again, do not chew all <laughs> measure pills. Yeah, definitely don't do that. She said, here to serve and protect from my husband's bad advice. Definitely listen to her. She knows what yeah. she's talking listen, about. Listen, also, chewing pills blows anyways. It's not great. So no. just fucking do what you normally do with them. Yeah, I used to take, taste tickle. Yeah, but love you guys very much. Thank you guys for all the support tonight. Thank you for the new record. And, and, 100%. Uh, Thank tonight. you for everyone being here. Thanks for 35K subs today. Ooh. Fucking great day, man. Thanks for supporting, Matt. Come hang out on Cigar Dojo's live stream on Friday on Facebook. There's It'll be a lot of fun. Give me a link, like I said, on Facebook, Patreon, and uh, Instagram. We're there. It'll yeah. be everywhere. We're going to be talking bourbon with them. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you guys. I love you. Good night. Have a great night. Yeah.